Hello, one and all. Welcome to the ghouliest, coolest Friday night you're going to have this side of the Mississippi River. And that matters no matter what side of the Mississippi River you're on. Uh, you have the good fortune to be coming to see Kennedy High School in uh, No Name Town, America, and the struggles and travails and trials of those within it on this definitely totally normal day where nothing nothing bad is going to happen to them at all um i'm john mcdonald i am the gm for power Andrew centurion uh which will have an episode coming up this wednesday which is the other half of the rise of silver um not the rise of silver surfer the rise of silver um uh, that's a different Sorry. game <laughs> no you're fine i loved it i chuckled so much it was so good um I also am the GM for Empire Ranger Podcast. I am in the fabulous Sunday Night Call of Cthulhu game, um, where I'm definitely not insane. I was tested. Uh, I was tested to be insane. Um, and we're going to have, a, gonna have a good time. Yeah, just a bit crazy. Just a little bit. It's fine. Uh, so I've never done the Kids on Bike system before, so I'm excited to be the GM. I've decided to call myself the Guidance Counselor. So the guidance counselor will be available for anyone during the emotional time period known as adolescence, uh, however you need me. Uh, so what's going to happen is, is the world is divided into good kids that are in show choir and bad kids that are in detention that are going to end up in the show choir choir room. Um, and oh. that's, the principal feels that's detention enough for you. Uh, so we're going to start with the good kids getting introduced. It is... Um, Nine in the morning, uh, summer school, you get a little bit of a late start. So uh, as you introduce yourself, uh, please make sure to say what your character's name is, uh, how you're feeling this morning, um, and then feel free to give me an introduction as you're walking into the school um, to set the scene for the good kids. The Invitational Slam, which is the kind of um, preview of what you're going to be performing at regionals. Uh, is what you are currently trying to work out with Mr. Rains, the choir teacher. So I'm going to have uh, Matthew as a good kid, if you'd like to introduce yourself, if you please. Hi, I'm Matthew. <laughs> Matthew Kennedy. And uh, today you find him waking up. He's put on a black T-shirt. Uh, a black and gold t-shirt uh, with a lion for Kennedy High. And he's wearing a pair of jeans. He's ready for uh, for the inevitable inevitable uh, task of uh, going to choir, but not for singing, but to help 
build stage props because his best friend Tammy has dragged him into it. Yes. Uh, uh, it, um, so you're out of player. Are you in any other uh, streams here oh. on Shadows of Cups? Yes. Hi. I'm Reason, and you can find me on such streams as Shadowrun with Teslin and I and occasionally you. Joe and occasionally Isabits and occasionally these other wonderful people here. <laughs> I should have done that first. Whoops. No, you're I went fine. went straight to character. I was like, ah, oh, yes, we'll just crack into this. <clears throat> anyway, it's yeah. we, we We catch, we catch uh, Matthew. Uh, he's about 5'7", wearing his uh, Kennedy High School black and gold shirt, uh, coming in with Tammy to school. He has his he has his family car that is currently his for the day, and he's coming in. It's about like nine, pushing maybe ten, getting yeah. getting there. And uh, they've stopped and got gotten the classic uh, Starbucks together. And they're they're coming in, and they're unloading the back of the this uh, four door station wagon with wood paneling. <laughs> classic, ah, so classic stuff. Holiday Road is playing in the background, even though it's not Christmas time. It's on repeat. Tammy yeah. won't let me turn it off. <laughs> uh, you do get a little bit of psychic revenge this morning, though. As you're unloading stuff with Tammy, Tammy drops something after receiving a text message, and she just lets out the longest sigh that you have ever heard her. And she goes, Joey found the TikTok for the new lame is. Apparently, is wearing a French flag today. So, be ready for that. Great. Guess, guess what he wants to do with invitationals? Oh, I swear to God, if I don't get to play Ethamine if we do this. She starts, like, muttering under her breath in, like, broken French. I I have no words for you. I'm sorry. Today's gonna be long. Thank God I'm just making cut of, cutaways. <laughs> Yep. He laughs and pulls more stuff out of the back of the of the of the station wagon. Uh just because she does not have any of her uh coffee drink left, um, you don't get anything thrown out the side of your head. So there's that. All right. Uh Roxy, you're also going to get a warning text message about Joey and the same is TikTok he found. But before you get that text message, which is going to absolutely ruin your day, because Joey has called himself the Prima Donna, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, yes. Um, I am uh, Roxy Devane. Um, I do a lot of um, musical theater here at um, Kennedy High. Um, I am, am a little... Um, High strung this time around because I didn't get the lead the last the last show that we did, um, and I am um, I've been practicing and I've been um, I don't want to say um, bothering the uh, the director, but I mean I've been going to him a lot and making sure that like I have um, the right sound that he's looking for. Um, he keeps telling me to go away, but I'm sure that that's just because you know he's very busy. And, um, but yes. Um, out of character, I am Isbitz. I um, do all of the editing here at Shadows of Knox. Um, I am also the uh, keeper for the Call of Cthulhu game on Sundays that Joe and John are in, and Andrew are in. Gosh, I was like, wait, I have, wait, him? And then, oh, yeah, like half of my cast is here tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I am also in both Power Ranger games that John runs. Um, I am in the podcast as the Red Ranger Jane Russell, and I am in Power Ranger Centurion, which is here. We will be here this coming Wednesday on Twitch um, as the Blue Ranger Jules Verne. Um, 
I will be in the upcoming um, Being Villainous, where I am the um, apprentice assassin for hire. Uh, I play a shape changer who um, is basically turned to villainy because uh, her fiance was murdered by a hero um, and she's looking for revenge. Um, we will be start streaming that um, in a couple weeks, hopefully, but I keep an eye on our Discord and social media and you will, we will let you know when exactly we are gonna start streaming that. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, I will say, Roxy, you arrive in the choir room before Matthew does. Okay. By about an hour, actually. Um, I'm gonna have to practice. But no, yeah, but but no one's worried about it because uh, Tammy is like one of the altos. So like, Mr. Rains, the choir teacher, is like he's very much in the sopranos are everything kind of vein of, of living um it's not just that joey has decided to wear a french flag is that he is actively campaigning to get les mis to be the only thing that is being done for invitationals and he's like talking to the bases when you get in and it's like three dudes that were on athletic scholarship and then failed out of that because they couldn't keep their grades up and they're now in a uh, show choir. And he is like, no, no, it's a super cool show. Like you get to storm the bear. You come into him like doing Les Mis as like a one man show. Of course. There's a reason why Joey calls himself the prima donna. I'm humming the tune as I walk past him of the song of Angry Men. Mm -hmm. uh, Roxy, who is a like little five three nothing of a girl, um, shoulder length blonde hair, glasses, blue eyes, um, very almost preppy dressed, um, the you know button up shirt with like a sweater vest on and like a skirt that comes to like just below her knees, um, comes like just walks right up to him, um, and like angrily taps him on the shoulder. Um, excuse you, um. I agree, it is a great show, but it's not the only show, and I don't think that, I think we should have variety. I don't think it should just be that one show. I want you to do the first role for this. I know it's a little <laughs> untraditional to do it during, but this feels like kind of like debate thing. So you can either use brains, charm, uh, yeah, I think brains or charm are probably the two okay, uh, I'm for gonna, this. I'm gonna use brains. If you click it in your character sheet and it explodes, it'll like do it automatically, which is super cool. I got a seven. You got a seven. I did Let get a seven. Let me double check. You did. Mm. I got a one, oh. um, which is bad. I don't get adversity tokens because I'm Joey's the one in charge. never actually but... seen Les Mis. He just saw the TikTok. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. Only... <laughs> yes, Joey's literally only seen the TikTok. Um, so when you, like, are, are... Actually, no. So this game is when you win the role, you get narration. So I'm going to let you narrate, like, dulling the shine a little bit on this. Because he's only seen the TikTok, and you can tell by the way he's talking. He hasn't seen the full show. He's never seen Paddy Lepone talking about... Eventually, just work it out. Get over it. Because Patty LaPone does a great number about being over Les Mis. So. Um, yeah, so she, like, once she kind of realizes that he has not actually seen the show, um, she looks at him and says, with her hands on her hips, now look, I understand. It is a really, really good show, but I've seen the show. I've actually seen it in New York. <laughs> actual production of it and the movie um i've seen it several times so i'm very very well versed with this um and i know that um you have not seen it so maybe before you start petitioning for us to only do one show for this uh for this thing maybe you should actually see, see it first i think that 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 would be better um and until then until then i would ask that you do not petition for this to be the only show we could do we could also do Jekyll and Hyde that is a classic and like she starts like listing uh, musicals that we could do in addition to Les Mis 
uh, Annie, who is one of the Altos, um, who has red hair and her parents named her Andy, which is her curse to bear in life. Uh, she goes, yeah, we could do others. Cause she, very, she comes very close to saying Annie. Um, and so Mr. Rains kind of enters into the room with his own, like, he has like voodoo donuts instead. Cause he's trying to be like cool hip teachers. So he has like a voodoo donuts box. Um, he goes, hey, so what are we all talking about? Uh, and then he realizes he's, he's come into a room with a whole bunch of show choir kids talking musical theater. Uh, which is why, for the kids in detention, this might feel a little bit like a kind of perverse punishment from the principal. Uh, which is where we'll go next to the back. It's, by the way, uh, Joey is like deflated a little bit, like the French flag is drooping on the ground, just like at the bottom. Uh, As it should be. He should know she really, what he's talking about before really he opens his mouth. So good. So good. So, um, I don't know this full backstory, so I'm excited to hear uh, Gavin describe the penguin incident at some point. You don't have to do it during introductions, but I'm excited to hear Gavin's introduction and also what other places we might find Clockwork Tuba on both the internet and at Shadows of Maps. Hi, everybody. My name is Joe. I am completely unrelated to the other Joey and will not accept any, you know, comparisons. No, um, my name is, I also, I also go by Clockwork Tuba. You can find me on Twitch or YouTube under the same name. Um, I have, for here on Shadows of Nox, I'm also, again, part of the Call of Cthulhu game um, uh, and basically the Shadowrun game with Reason and basically any game they put up casting calls for, I respond to because this is a great group of people and I love playing with them. Um, the big thing to announce is that on August 6th, so in like two weeks time, three weeks time, uh, we'll be doing a special one shot session, something like that, of talking about the Stormlight Archive RPG with me, John, Ava, and maybe some other people, I'm not sure. Um, basically my favorite book series is being made an RPG and the Kickstarter is going live that day and I've been kind of obsessed, so we're going to talk about it and uh, go over all the cool things and they've talked about releasing the beta rules then and then we're going to make characters and just kind of goof off and have fun uh so everyone I'm halfway through by. book two i'm halfway through book two and i'm i'm a little i'm a little miffed but you know you, sh that's... you should be book two is rough book two is rough uh gavin uh gavin bear also known as grizzly bear uh his friends call him grizzly bear uh hot grizz on grizz action the bear the big guy you know Big G, a bunch of other things. Uh, he's riding in a car with his dad. And it is the like most... Breakfast Club style? Breakfast yeah, are, Club are style. Are you doing a full Breakfast Club moment? Yeah. Yeah, he's a full, full Breakfast Club moment. It is the most awkward silence you guys have ever experienced. Like, you can feel it through me describing it onto the, you know, TV screen of where this movie is being played into your own homes and into your hearts. That's how pervasive this awkward silence is. Um, because, uh, let's just say that for what we'll talk about right now is the penguin incident did involve Gavin in a penguin mask and his underwear, and he got caught in the wrong sections of the school. Um... We'll go into why later Is on. Is there any right to... section of the school? I, I feel like yeah. I want to give you a second adversity token for the way you're <laughs> describing it, but I'm also not yet prepared to do... You get one just for being in the episode, obviously. Okay. So, yeah. uh, um, so it's like literally... like it. There's a full-on... The car pulls up to the school for detention. His dad tries like three times to say something all without like turning away from the windshield and all without being able to say anything. And then Gavin just kind of gets out of the car and closes the door and keeps on walking. Uh, Gavin is wearing his hockey jersey because they have homecoming game coming up soon. So they're supposed to be wearing the jerseys. Um, uh, it is oversized because he's not in his paddings. He's the goalie on the hockey team. So even, you know, he should have, he, he has even heavier paddings than everybody else. So it's it's basically like it's big and dripping on him, and he is also a big guy. He hit his growth spurt early. Um, he's very heavy set. The whole premise of you know 
put the big guy in the like every hot every high school hockey team is exactly the same of put the big guy in the goal and they can't hit hit it past him um uh his backpack however is very much stuffed with a giant lion plush um and everyone who goes to kennedy high knows of the tradition of when we're getting close to homecoming or when we're getting close to like big sports games of a member of the hockey team has to carry around Reggie and Reggie has to be carried around the entire time. If you lose Reggie or if Reggie touches the ground, um, then they're going to lose the game. So they constantly will pass Reggie back and forth, who is like one of those. Don't, don't do the, don't do the evil maniacal fi fingers yet. Uh, but yeah, Sorry, if, if, I can't if, help it. But yeah, it basically, you know that there's no rooms for the books in his backpack because Reggie fills up most of it. Um, it's basically like Reggie's been stuffed into the backpack mostly. The head does not fit in. So it's this big lion head just sticking out the top of his backpack as uh, Gavin walks into the school. Uh, I will say also, again, being a teenager and getting into his, uh, with all the hormones and craziness, Gavin shaves about once a week. Gavin should be shaving much more often, but has still not quite realized that. So he's got the weird patchy half beard thing that, you know, high schoolers get. Um, but yes, Love he's that. he's very much a big, heavy set, dopey ish dude um, who uh, has got, you know, who plays on the hockey team and pretty much just lives his life in, on the hockey rink. Uh, yeah, as you come into the school. You probably don't expect to see many people you know, um, because like it's you know it's summer school, right? Uh, but apparently a couple of your friends were there doing training with um, Mr. Brink, who is like one of the advanced PE teachers for for the athletes, uh, and Mr. Brink is literally just like holding one of those barbells, and it's kind of cartoonish, <laughs> and and your and your friends go hey, and that's all they say to you is. I give you the nod. Let's go. Hey, give the nod back. I mean, he's the goalie on the hockey team. He's not. He's not the famous one. He's not. He's not the. He's not the jock everyone celebrates. He's the goalie on the hockey team. <laughs> not yet. Uh, Wyatt, you are going <laughs> to come across this hay scene, by the way. So if you'd like to introduce yourself as the fabulous Threadkill, and then go into. How you doing? By the way, uh, all the people that are here for detention, uh, the principal has made clear if you don't do detention and you do any other after school activity, if you have unserved detentions, you don't get to do your activity for the senior year. And so mostly most people are doing these detentions during summer school so they can do their thing, um, whatever their thing is. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of unhappy people. You two just happen to be the unhappy people that are doing this today. That's you. Right. Know. There might be others in the school. Who knows? And uh, what is the scene that I was watching? The scene with uh, Gavin but and his dad? You're like, or... so uh, you can, but you're also yeah. just like, you're opening the door to come into school and you're okay. treated to the, hey, like, like the weird thing mm -hmm. where the jocks are just like not talking to each other, but they're also saying, hey, and apparently that's a whole conversation. So, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, I am Andrew, uh, otherwise known as uh, Roadkill, various circles for the introduction. Uh, as uh, already been kind of mentioned, I'm playing Wyatt, uh, Wyatt O'Connor, uh, general, not very fun person to be around, uh, tends to kind of talk down to just about everybody. Uh, despite not being that big of a person himself. Uh, tends to pretty much carry himself and think of himself as smarter than everybody that else that's around him. And uh, as far as anything else I'm in, uh, again, uh, with Isabeth's uh, Thulu game on Sundays, I'm playing in that and having a wonderful time and probably going to die. Uh, pretty sure that's how it's going to happen. We're going to be the only happen, one of us to right? live. 
You're gonna have grad student debt, but you're gonna be the only one of us to live. <laughs> I'm gonna have I grad don't know. Student. I think he's rivaling you for sanity. <laughs> uh, I'm getting close. I'm, I'm... <laughs> to be fair, I started out with 30 sanity because I traded it for yeah. other things. So don't I worry. As as long yeah, you, you haven't gone down that other, much. Everything I, will be fine. I think mine started in the 70s, and now it's in the low 40s or high 30s. We're going backwards. So That's how yeah. time works, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my sanity's been working there. Anyways, uh, other than that, uh, I'm in some other various uh, streams here and there, but the only other one that I believe is really going right now is the typical Monday one, where instead of Dresden, I am the keeper for a Cthulhu game uh, as well, where we are mixing espionage and the mythos and having a great time. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead and check yeah. that out when you can, Monday evenings. And then, of course, as a bit, uh, Sunday evenings when we can. Although, I think we're still trying to figure out the next day for Isabets. one. Yes, we have one yeah. session left um, for Chapter 1. And we are trying mm -hmm. to come up with a day that works for everybody. Um, for yeah. Andrew's game, though, I everything's up on YouTube except for the very latest episode. I think that's the last one that I need to get up there. Right. So if you haven't seen them, yes. I'm going to put our YouTube in, link in the chat. Check it out because mm -hmm. it's been really great. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna clip. Uh, I'm super excited to see it on YouTube. Yeah. Have you been able to see any of them yet? I am going to watch all of them as I clip yeah. the, the funny they, moments uh, for YouTube. They they might mess with your uh, mind in the sense of continuity. Oh no! But Ooh, that's because it. they're kind of supposed to with what I'm messing around with everybody. But um. So yeah, it's uh, this coming Monday, the 22nd, we'll be doing our next episode, which I still have to uh, finish writing and get the title up and everything for everybody. But keep an eye out for that one. It'll be posted soon, hopefully, <laughs> and uh, that'll be great. But uh, yes. as far as this goes, yeah, Wyatt opens the door, sees the jacks with their, you know, two brain cells amongst all of them, and we'll just... Uh, and just walk past him to wherever it is in the school he's supposed to be going to. Uh, is it the yes. gymnasium this time? Is it some classroom? The uh, library? You check, oh. you check like your email um, mm -hmm. to, to find out because uh, you can do that here. Um, it's weird because normally you have to check in with the security desk coming into school, but for mm -hmm. summer school they've laxed those rules a bit. Um, all right. Check your email, and you have to go to the choir room? Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. And as you approach the door to the choir room, you hear a male voice screaming the words, empty chairs, empty tables. Um, Joey is now trying to save face, and he is now rapping the lyrics to empty chairs and empty tables in French. He found, like, he found like the uh, like on his phone. He found the lyrics for the French version of "Empty Chairs and Empty Tables," and but he's like doing it Hamilton style, so it's not like this sad, sweet melody. It's like aggressive and angry, and you can hear this from the other side of the door. So I've got to ask: Are Wyatt and Gavin doing the thing where uh, we don't really say much to each other, assuming we're going to walk off to different parts of the school, and then? Yeah, I think so. Like, go. I, I assume you're go, walking off in yeah. one spot. I'll, I start heading towards security. Then I'm like, all right. Uh, and then, yeah, we meet hey, right Gavin, outside the like choir room. Around, yeah. You're walking around the U shape and you come back around and there's just White is just standing outside the choir door. And it's like, I don't. He's just like a dead blank stare at the choir door. Just no ounce of enthusiasm anywhere on him. Joey's voice carries too, so he's like scream rapping Hamilton style the lyrics to empty chairs and empty table. With for anyone that loves Slay Miz is like, no, why are you doing this thing? Um so you okay. can hear it from out in the hall. You are you are witnessing in real time the meltdown of Prima Donna Joey, who has not gotten his way. He's yeah. the, the the one caused him to become very bitter and unhinged. Yeah. Why it's just gonna glance over at uh Gavin, see the uh lion, right? Picking yep. out of his backpack, just like, you sure you want to subject Reggie to this? If I don't go in there, I don't get to play. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, we'll so just... says them, I guess. I'm sure you'll still be able to play as long as you just walk out there and do it. No, no. It's it, if I don't do the detention, I don't get to play. Mm, sure. Is this is this when Matthew comes out the door <laughs> that they're standing yeah, in front you, of? To you can totally his... come out the door with like a giant set piece. And, like, you're just hearing, like, empty chairs and empty tables. It gets worse when the door opens. Like, Joey has filled the space with his uh, baritone tone. And it's just, you can you can just hear it's, like, someone trying real hard to be Hamilton who's not Hamilton. There are the smallest earbuds that you can imagine that have been shoved into Matthew's ears. They're red. And you can hear him humming to... Some sort of polka music. Oh, um, but it's not loud enough for you to hear the music. He's just right. humming what sounds like polka music. Mm-hmm. You mean he's just going to shoot a hand at you guys and continue carrying the set piece down to wherever it needs to be? Right. Why it doesn't return any gesture whatsoever. <laughs> He just watches you as you go by. You said that the choir teacher had donuts, though, right? Uh, he's currently trying to arrange them festively, but I'm only using Voodoo Donuts because Voodoo Dolls are, even though they're an anti-union company, I love a good Voodoo Doll. Um, I'm still very upset they got rid of my favorite, which was some of the Cocoa Puffs. But yeah, so he's got like Voodoo Donut Donuts because um, he doesn't know they're anti-union because he hasn't done the research. That's just the kind of teacher he is. Uh, Gavin is in the room. He's got he's got high school jock metabolism when it comes to food. So Gavin has pushed past everyone, knocked Joey off the chair the table. It's like not even noticing, and he's like made a beeline right for the donuts. Um, and Oxy, do you clap as as Joey literally gets knocked off a chair? Uh, she doesn't clap. Um... But she is visibly happy that it happened, and she's trying to like cover a laugh with like a cough. Yeah, that's true. Uh, by the way, um, follow Kevin and. <laughs> yeah, uh, by the way, it. Roxy, there is one of the bubble gum. Uh, for some reason, Mr. Reigns thinks the bubble gum voodoo donuts are your favorite. Um, so there is a bubble gum voodoo donut donut. Who say? That is her um, least favorite, but she you. eats them because she wants to uh, make sure she stays on his good side because she wants that lead role. What do you do with the actual, like, because it actually comes with a gum on top, like, comes with a wrapped gum on top um, of this, like, purple-yellow donut frosting thing. How many of those are there? There's uh, there's two dozen of them. He got the bucket the first time, which is when they have the stale donuts and you buy like a bucket of them for five dollars. Mm-hmm. And there was a near revolt in the room, so now he buys retail. I'm gonna make sure to grab one of those pieces of gum. Oh, um, you can have mine. I don't I don't want the gum. He just grabs it. And you're like, yeah. all right, and then pockets the gum. <laughs> yeah, G- oh. Gavin is now double fisting donuts and is like, you're the best, Mister Reigns. <laughs> and Wyatt's uh, going to start grabbing uh, some of the other pieces of gum and just pocketing them. Not grabbing the donuts, just the gum off of the top. <laughs> you know I that's going to that. get, like, fuzzy, right, from your pocket? I think maybe I have, like, a plastic bag in my in my book bag if you want um, or not. Sure. Okay, yeah, she'll, like, you know, like, hold back back. <laughs> 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 like, finds uh, it, like, a random, like, little, like, snack bag and mm-hmm. empties it. H- here you go. Thanks. And then he like starts pulling it out of his pocket with some lint probably on a couple of them and just puts it in the bag the way it is. Seals it and puts that in his pocket. Okay. By the way, <laughs> Matthew, um, you have made Joey angry as well. Because Tammy reserved the Fruit Loop donut for you, and that's Joey's favorite. So when you re-enter the room, Joey is going to come like like over to you and be like, you don't like the Fruit Loop donut, right? Joey's gonna get like right up in your face when you come back into the room. No. Joey is Joey is the Leia Michelle of this universe, by the way. Just like no, it's all yours. Okay, well, you have to I tell Tammy that. 
because Tammy reserved it for you. Like, are you two going out finally? Is that finally happening? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, I mean, you're just a set builder, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and a science nerd, so I mean... Oh, yeah, I can see it now. It's all the acne. Yeah, no, I understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not pretty enough for stage. I I wasn't going to say it. I mean, you've said it. But, no, you know, no, 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 no. Let's be honest. I don't want to be here any more than the jocks want to be here. I'm here. Yeah, donuts, I'm fine. I mean, but if any of them are bases, we could still do Les Mis, and he, like, broadcasts, we could still do Les Mis to the whole room, and there's just, like, this course of size. He's, and like, then starting he, to like, look looks at him, Mis. and he goes, and he's like, can you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men? And then he just walks off. <laughs> he doesn't even continue the conversation. And he's just going to pick up a donut, the Fruit Loop one, and eat it in front of him. <laughs> do you do that loud enough for for other people to hear? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Roxy gives you an evil look, and she's like, why did you? Now he's going to start singing again. Thank you for that. And she's going to, like, turn and, like, go and sit down and pull out her her um because she has a script for the the Christmas are we doing Christmas story or because that's the script that was in my backpack or that's the the, the theater department is doing Christmas story if okay. you want to turn it into Christmas story a musical the director of the theater department who is not Mr. Reigns and Mr. Reigns is still bitter about it is like Earl if you can turn it into a musical we'll do that that's fine if that's what you really want to do I don't think it's going to be a good musical but you know whatever makes you happy he, like, said it so that you would fail at the challenge. He doesn't think that you can do it. You get, the, you get the, like, the theater teacher is like, yeah, sure. I've, I've heard this before. She's trying. She's trying to make it work. Um, she has not shown him what she's gotten so far, but she is, she is, she's trying to make it work. Because that's what she's doing. She, like, sits down and pulls out the script, and she's, like, making notes that there would be a good song here. Um, need to write lyrics. Like, just, like, making notes and a list of things that she needs to do. So at what point do you become annoyed enough with Joey as he starts to do all the parts to One Day More? Uh, you put down your... Um, he's, he's really trying to sell, because now he's, like, he's, like, duet singing with himself for One Day More. He's doing, like... Oh all the words perfectly lined up but playing the different characters Ugh. and even for people that have never seen Les Mis like Wyatt have you seen Les Mis are you enjoying the one man show or are you like this is this guy uh, is like either more Ritalin or like a lot less of it Wyatt hasn't seen Les Mis as far as the play or uh, the movie goes or anything but I mean he's read books with it in it so either a, like the play in a book or the book itself or yeah, yeah. you actually wrote a uh, you actually had to write a report on that book you did fairly well on the report yeah those uh, things are too easy that probably surprised you yeah. <laughs> um so here's the thing when you look back on this later you don't know it but being in the choir room saved your life. Mr. Raines uh, calls together Tammy and Annie, the two lead altos, and he's taking them over to the auxiliary gym to do some practice type stuff. By the way, Mr. Raines has like kind of curly hair and wears a sweater vest. He's full on Mr. Schuster. He's not even Mr. Schuster because he's just Mr. Schuster. <laughs> um, and he's like, I'll be right back. Uh, Joey, we're not doing Les Mis because you wouldn't give this type of energy when we wanted to do the Phantom of the Opera homage. So we're not doing Les Mis. And that's the last thing he says. Um, Mr. Uh, Reigns, what are we supposed to do? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not really, he doesn't really care. He's not trying to get you onto the Glee Club because we're not doing the thing where the Glee Club is always the underdog. Uh, Matthew. So Matthew's going to come up to Grizz and be like, hey, I need help moving this set piece. Do you give me a hand? 
Uh, sure. Cool. We're going to move it from here to the... Is it the auxiliary room that they wanted at this time? I don't know. We're moving yeah. it to the place where I've yeah, been to the moving place where the, the debate nerds use the auxiliary gym. The science nerds, the debate nerds, and the Glee Club use the auxiliary gym. Uh, before you move that piece, mm -hmm. I want to know what the last thing is you say to Tammy. <sighs> What? It's not a trap. I promise. I feel like I feel like this is a trap. So what you're talking about. Anyways, so Tammy, what's up with the Fruit Loop Dillman? Joey was saying something about you reserved it specifically for me. I don't. I thought that was your. I thought that was your favorite donut. No, I like the the oh. the. The the cream donut with the the cocoa puffs on the top. Oh no, they and just he didn't have any that. this time, so I was like, yeah. oh, all right, well oh. that makes sense. Well, well so I'm a, it's bad, not I'm a bad friend. No, 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 I ate it anyways in friend. front of Joey because he wanted it, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad he's graduating. I can't. I don't think I could handle another year of this. I, I don't think I'm so happy that they're not going to do lay meds because. As much as I'd love to see you in it, that's painfully hard to hear him. Yeah, he's yeah. He's, he's ruining Les Mis. He's never seen Les Mis. He's seen the Les Mis TikToks. He's he's ruining it. But I, I had that feeling. Yeah. You know, the song um, of Angry Men comes to mind. Yeah. <laughs> I, I uh so uh we're gonna do uh we're gonna do we're gonna do friend night tonight, right? Uh I, I got the Aristocats DVD out of the uh, out of our out of our Disney vault at home, um, mom and dad said penne, you know. So. Okay. All right. Um, did I need to bring something? You know how how it's been since the science fair. Okay, yeah. Oh brain. no, we have we have to talk relax. about the the disaster because uh, I don't know <laughs> if you if you saw Rydell posted, but they are um, they are they are out for blood for us. So. Um, <laughs> I may have had something to do with that. Anyways, <laughs> I thought so, uh, but no. We, I'll be back. I'll be back real soon. Uh, we're just we're just going out to talk of something. I I I'm still pitching Greece. I think that we have enough of a tone for Greece. So I'm pitching Greece. We'll see what hairspray. happens. Hairspray. But... Hairspray is always amicable. No, because when we tried to do hairspray, we got that. Oh, you can't do it thing because people are like afraid of the gay from hairspray so like we got it's a whole really? thing you're still afraid of the gay that's not well, even a not thing me, but i i don't know anyway i'll be back i just All have right. to go do this thing while mr rains makes weird eyes at annie oh. ew no yeah it's weird yeah it's weird uh but, right. but tammy exits the room as you go back to gavin you pick it up uh quiet uh what what are your thoughts about being you're gonna spend the whole day, eight hours of your life in this room with these apparently theater activated people and one guy that really likes like this. Theater activated. Got me, I'm sorry. Well, they I are never, um, I'd say I'd likely gonna be very unhappy with today, but uh I'd be unhappy no matter where I was, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, Roxy? Yes. You are approached uh, by someone you don't know very well, one of the bases, and he's like, hey, uh, this is weird. But they wanted, I, a couple of the girls, uh, Tammy was telling me that they were thinking about, I don't, I don't want to do Greece. I don't know how you feel about Greece, but I don't want to do Greece. Um, I'm just kind of afraid of Tammy. So, can you can you get Matthew because I know Matthew and Tammy are like a thing or whatever. Can you like get? Can you convince Matthew to tell Tammy that we don't want? I unless he like really want to do beauty school dropout or like resist torch song or whatever. But like, I'd rather do Grease too. Wouldn't you rather do Grease too than Grease? I would. Like, actually Cole Rider do. is such a better song. It is. It is so, by far yeah. a better song. Um, I don't want to do so, either of them, though. I, I think it's a bad idea. Um, I mean, but if you have to do a Grease. Right. No, if we too. have to, yeah, we, yeah. we want to do Grease, too. We have to do. Um, if I have to listen to Joey hammer his way through John Travolta's summer, version of Summer Nights, 
I, I, I might end up spray painting something. Can I help you? Uh, if that happens, yeah. I, 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 I agree. I mean, if I have um, to listen, if I have to listen to Joey do, do summer nights and a bad John Travolta impression, I, I will spray paint something. I can't. I will even, take the whole school down. Yeah, I cannot I, I even. We can't. No, you're right. That can't happen because I can't. No, we. No. Um. No, we're gonna we're gonna put a stop to this right now. Um. Thank you. As you say, listening. as you say, we're gonna put a stop to this right now. And this is the moment where everything is going to kind of go to hell. Remember. It's high school. It's already hell. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a different sort of hell. Because as you say that, Roxy, there is a high-pitched noise. And all of you hear it, and it vibrates so hard through your skulls, you all pass out. Everyone in that room just passes out. There's now a set piece laying on the top of both of us. <laughs> you're no, you're actually doing a Titanic thing where you're both on top of it, oh, like okay. just fell. So you're never doing, let go, you're doing Matthew. A... Never let go. Never let go. Never, never let go, Chris. Reggie. Got to get Reggie onto the set piece. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, you do that. Like, it, why it takes you a couple more seconds? You're just you're in a. Good place so, so in the I, room. I'm like sitting so, in the back, just watching everybody kind of pass out. Yeah, and you're like the last one to pass. Do you like smile a little bit? Like you have just a moment of peace where it's just the high pitched whine before you uh, pass out. Like as I'm seeing everybody go down one by one, like there's this brief moment where I'm just like slightly happy that I didn't go down, and then he's down. Yeah, probably face hits the little desk. Uh, I'm assuming attached to the table or the seat that he's in. No, you just like face plant yeah. down on the floor because there's <laughs> no little desk. This is there's the, none these, of those these chairs. Are in the here. Glee chair. These are just like regular. Oh chairs. yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just very unceremoniously, Roxy. like butts in the air, faces are right on the ground. It's true. Also, uh, Roxy, good to say. I love yeah. how we're making the, like the sets are being made without apparently the plan being made for the <laughs> for what's being sung yet. <laughs> yeah, you get that a lot. You get that a lot, actually. Roxy, what is the last thought that goes through your head? Is it, thank God I don't have to listen to Les Mis anymore? Or is it tinnitus? Um, no, yeah, it's more like, um, oh, God, whoever did that needs training. <laughs> is basically her, her thought was, man, that person needs some help. Oh. <laughs> uh... And then... Eight hours go by, and you, the four of you wake up, and it's like dusk. Um, almost the sun has completely set. And as the four of you wake up where you are prone in different places in the choir room, nobody else in the choir room is getting up. What happened? Yeah, I assume watches are a is... thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah the, the watches nice. work. Uh, yeah, watches work. It's a Seiko watch on his on his wrist, and he's gonna look at it. Uh, oh, hands! Uh, I forgot I have hands. It's not the digital version. What time Eight is hours it? have elapsed. It's like it's like six six thirty. So it's oh, that weird part of here where it's still a little light, but it's about to get real dark real quick. Ninja dark. Yeah. Did I sleep through detention? Why, why it's like storm. looking around. <laughs> I was supposed I to be home like two hours, three hours ago, something like that. All I remember was that high pitch whine, and then so down went the ship. Generally, gotta ask. What time frame is it, is this modern day high school or is this when we were in high school? Like are cell phones a thing? Well, I mean, he said TikTok. Uh, so I'm... Oh yeah, he did say TikTok. No yeah, mind. cell phones a thing. Yeah. Um, funny thing about your cell phone, it's bricked. Like you can't look oh, at the time on your man, cell phone. Dad's gonna kill me. Oh, this was new. Damn it. So any cell phones oh. broken, pretty much. It's bricked, so it's yeah. you know it's a glorified paperweight at this point. I hope nobody yeah. got the new iPhone just before he got there today. That would suck. 
Oh, that's gonna be well, at least your problem. Why it looks oh, at wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, is Reggie okay? Is I, I give as in he's not roll. on the ground. Oh god! Give me a flight roll. We'll see how Reggie did because flight is for dodge or flee. So I'm gonna have you do a flight roll to see how Reggie did. Can I say grit to try to have been protecting Reggie as I was passing out? Because I have a D10 nope. on grit. Nah, curse you. Nope. Ah. Gotta do. You gotta do. Uh, Let's see if you brought dishonor and shame to the team. Oh, dishonor on you. Oh, lions. Cow. Um, Shocks. The my 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 thing I'm above that gives me a tough bonus. Nope, that is fighting brawn. Never mind. And everyone gets that because you're all teams, you're all rebellious. Uh, booyah! Reggie lives. That's a thirteen for people playing alone on a D eight. So I exploded so the off the eight. The <laughs> reason you got uh the the reason you like got to like on top do the Jack and Rose thing is because you like tucked and rolled the second you heard the noise because it sounded kind of enough like a hockey buzzer. So you like tucked and rolled Reggie. It's like that was your training right there. Didn't nice. save you. Or it may have saved you altogether. Guys, it's okay. Reggie's fine. He didn't touch the ground. How is that even important right now? I need to get home. I'm going to be in so much trouble. And my, my phone is broken. Right. Yeah. And hold that on, is what you're on. worried about? <sighs> Wait a minute. Your phone's Brick too. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't think any of us have to worry about the phones anymore. You have to get a strong enough EMP to brick things through walls. You realize that all the vehicles mm -hmm. outside are also bricked. Most you ain't likely. going nowhere. I ride a bicycle. I'll be fine. Then you're fine. Yeah, I will. I'll be fine. I have to. I have to go. I'm gonna be. Bicycles are the wind. The windmill of transportation, really, is what they are. That's what bicycles yeah. are. The yeah, windmill yeah. of transportation. Um, I brought the bike today. <laughs> hold on. You should probably stay here until we figure out what that sound was. Oh, you mean well, the you mean the chick who can't sing, who can't hit high notes? She just needs to uh, to take some singing lessons. She'll be fine. Unless you know a guys, voice that can break phones, guys. What? They're not yeah. waking up. I go to one of the bases uh, and shake him. Did try so, check for a pulse? Uh, the pulse is. It's not the pulse that is not there that is concerning. It's the blood coming out of the nose. That's probably more concerning. Um, and yeah. because it's been eight hours the blood that has pooled has started to dry. So like, as you kind of turn ahead to find a pulse on someone very gently, um, yeah. See, even more uh, reason, we should go get uh, help. Yeah. I start checking people. I'm a science nerd. I know how to do that, right? Cool. Give me a brains roll. Okay. Uh. Brains. Yes, for other reasons. Are there any windows to this room for the outside? Uh, give me a second. A oh, you got an 18. 18. Great. You're 20. you're you're 90% sure that they're dead. Um they're all dead. You don't know why this would happen? Yes, you you said. Um yeah, but you're pretty sure uh not having a great time finding a pulse. Uh no chests aren't rising up and down. Um and the blood again. That's dry and that they're not moving. Thing where you pinch pretty? yourself and you're having like a slow panic attack as you as you're like going over your body, going, "Nope, nope, that hurts. No, please, Tammy, Tammy." Uh, Tammy is not in Tammy's this room. Not here, she was in the oh. other room. Tammy's, Tammy's not in this room. Tammy left with Mr. Rains and Annie. That's they are right. not in this room. Fuck. Yeah. God. Uh, to to answer your question, uh. Wyatt, the mm -hmm. only windows are tiny windows atop the wall that look out onto the fake indoor courtyard. Mm -hmm. um, so there are there are no like like you can look up, yeah. but you're just going to see an indoor courtyard. Yeah, um, and it's it's getting dark. Is uh, okay. Is, is so I can see the door? skyline at least, and it's just dark. Yeah. Well. Oh. Well, uh, so lights are still on. Which okay. is good. Um, so electricity is still working somewhere. Why did nobody yeah. check on us in eight hours? That's a very good question. 
And that's why I think we should all stay here until we figure out what's going uh, on. Cause... As he says this, Gavin is reaching for another donut and starting to eat it. Because it might not <laughs> be very I mean, safe they're... outside right now. Well, no, the donuts are fine because they're yeah. voodoo. They're basically indestructible. Uh, is that... Uh, I, we don't have those on the East Coast. At least we don't have those in New York. I've never had voodoo donuts. Are they good? Is that what people are... They're really Ew. sugary if you like okay. a lot of sugar. It depends on it depends on what you like about a donut. I care I prefer a Winchell donut because I love something that's much more old fashioned cake like. Um people get voodoo donuts because they are impressive looking. They're not voodoo yeah. donuts. Gotcha. Um and all of you that love voodoo donuts, I'll take all of your hate mail and I'll eat it because it'll be more delicious than a voodoo donut will be. <laughs> Bam! Mic drop. I'm uh, even gonna can... clip that. You can send any hate mail to isabits at shadowofnox.com. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Why are you sending hate mail to me? I didn't say that. anything. We're, we're uh, it's that funnier out. that way. We are not going there. Uh, in my defense, Voodoo is actually also a bad company because they're anti-union and they actively fired people that were asking for just a fan while they fried stuff in oil during summer. So when we got a Voodoo Donuts in the town where I currently live, uh, people got real excited, and I got real mad, and I had to keep educating people. And I don't like to buzz on people's fun. But speaking of things not being fun, a whole bunch of dead bodies in this room, y'all. I will say that okay, I'll, I'll check. As, as he reaches, as he reaches the for the donut, Gavin people. stops himself and does instead reach into his um, uh, reach into his backpack around Reggie and pulls out a handful of protein bars and passes them out to everybody. Because it's been eight hours since we've eaten, and people, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, I like. Yeah, it, cool. It, it, it is, it is the equivalent of the, 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 the jock science of you gotta make sure you keep your, you know, your macros up so that you can keep the body running, and. Oh, that's nice. That's nice of you. Yeah, I will give burn. you. A, Thanks. Actually, no, I can't give you a create. Is that some? That's not related to the thing that you do. That would that I would give you a creativity token for that. I don't no, know. it is. It is yeah. not. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, Roxy, what you thinking? Because it looks like the conversation about Greece versus Greece two is now um, on the back burner. Dad? To yes, Greece three, Greece with uh, more death. Um, Greece 3, the greasing. I Greece really three, feel sorry. like we... I have a bicycle. I could go get help. These people obviously need a doctor or an ambulance or something. Um, I am going to get in trouble. I am not supposed to be this late, and I would get grounded. And if I'm grounded, I can't audition. So um, I really feel like staying is a good idea. I appreciate the thought, but I think we need to get these people help. And I need to not be grounded. So I should go home. And get help. Well, if you hold on, hold on, hold on. At the very least, shouldn't we like go to like the principal's office and use the phone, call nine one one? Yeah, the and then call. Line we can call your folks. We need to figure out what's going on before you go anywhere. Because okay. if we haven't been checked on in eight hours, and there's people that are dead in here, something horrible is going on. Uh, okay, well, I have the reckless flaw. Never. At this point, Gavin is like, great. I do too, go team, actually. and then heads out the door. <laughs> great. Um, so, uh, fun, can't audition. I'm blaming you. Uh, fun, fun story. Me? About opening the yes, door. All of you. Uh, all of you. Ah, yeah. Fair. Fun story about opening the door. Would you like a fun story about opening the choir room door? I don't know. Uh, tell me one anyway. <laughs> okay. So, fun story. Mr. Rains, uh, Annie, and Tammy didn't actually get that far before the noise went off. Um, so all three of them are, like, lying face down just about 20 feet from the choir room door. I go running towards Tammy. Great. Uh, I need you to give me a, uh, brawn roll, please. Or oh. flight roll. Really, oh. whatever you want to do. Well, flight is a bit better than, uh, broad. Let's go! Are you and I exact opposites, Matthew? Yes. Oh, I'm not rolling very well tonight. Jeez. Because my uh, my brawn is a d20, my brains is a d4. I have a feeling that we are opposites. <laughs> my, my... I tried to vary who got what. So That's, you know, it, it makes a my lot of sense. A Gavin is not a smart man. 
So you are trying so to force your way out the door a... at the moment? Okay. No, it's a flight or a brawn for um for uh Matthew as you go running over to your friend. Yeah. Mid for D six. Uh, uh did you roll fight yeah, for the flight? Those are actually two different stats. Uh, oh, I thought that's that the... stat uh, no with flight uh flight or brawn for a reason. Oh I um, said I thought you said fight. Okay. Oh no Oops. flight. Let me with an L. Let me roll that. I'm sorry, I tried, to, I tried to hope oh. you had a better roll. Delightful! Okay, I love this journey. So, you know how I said it was good that you were in the choir room? It was real bad that they weren't in the choir room, because the second that you reach down to touch Shammy, her head turns. And she growls at you, and her face is just, like, the, the blood... The blood through the nose thing is there, and her skin's already turned a little bit gray, and uh, her eyes are like yellow. So, your friend is now growling at you, and you've also awakened Mr. Reigns and Annie. So, backpedal? <laughs> there's that. If you would wish to backpedal before dodging or fleeing, you will need to give me another flight roll. Flight, don't feel Do I hear this now. growling from inside the room? Yeah, are we, are we uh, seeing yes, this? Yes, everyone, everyone hears the growling and or probably the scream. I'm guessing I'm guessing you might scream a little bit, Matthew? I don't know. I don't want to tell you what to do. Uh, Tammy? I'm gonna, no! Uh, that was a I'm no! I'm going to pull one of the library books out of my bag. So there's a nine. We both got a nine. So does five. anyone want to help Matthew, or are you just going to watch Matthew get eaten in the first ten minutes? Of can I roll now? brawn to tackle somebody? Uh, you can roll fight to tackle someone. Brawn is fight. defense. Fight works. But, but you're 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 pretty good in fight. You just yeah. have to get higher than a nine. And I get plus one to this because I am rebellious. All teens are. And I managed to get a three. Ooh. So, Mr. Reigns kind of catches you, like, around uh, the middle as he's trying to... Sorry, quick thing. Um, failing rolls gives me gives us adversity tokens, right? It does. When you fail a roll, you get an adversity token. Thank you for that. So How about this. that? Oh, okay. So, I rolled for... Uh, I'm rolling for all the bad, guy, bad guys, quote-unquote. Uh, and so you actually won that uh, fight versus Ron uh, roll that I did. So uh, you don't then... get like like Mr. Reigns is like trying to like wrap his arms around your waist and like he has this feral look in his face and he is also growling, which is super fun. Um, so, yeah, I would just I, like. I managed... to... Oh, sorry. sorry. I just want to say Billy Berserker in the chat has um, now officially na uh, renamed Mr. Reigns as Mr. B. Reigns. <laughs> Mr. Brains. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I just oh, had to interrupt. I wish it was that spelled that way. Yeah, yeah. His first name is Brian now, probably, right? Thank you, Berserker. No, no, no. Yeah, choir teacher. Brian. It's Bernard. It's Bernard. Bernard, Bernard. right. Yeah, he's that's a right. He's a choir Bernard teacher. Bernard Reigns. Bernard or Bertram uh, or something. Who is currently has yellow eyes and is growling and trying to claw... At Gavin. So yeah, um, Grizz, uh, Gavin is running forward, and it's a textbook like slide tack, like like you know, bo a body check. Except he slips in some blood and ah shit, and then but but still manages to push him back, but does not get as oh, resounding well, a success really as he wants. Blood uh, that you stepped in, but uh -oh. yeah, sure we can call it that. We can call it that. Yeah. So um, good news, you found Mr. Reigns, Tammy, and Annie. Bad news, something is terribly wrong with them. And, and now they're getting up, they're coming toward you because you're alive. And um, because I'm subtle, they start saying brains in between brows. So, okay. Enjoy. Uh, or don't. No, I'm not your real dad. G Gavin starts scrolling around trying to, trying to push uh, trying to push Matthew like into the room, into the room, into the room. Mr. Reigns keeps saying his name for some reason. Go! <laughs> it's so good! It's so it's so accurate. He really does. Yeah, cl uh, close the door. Get back in. Close it. Is it the mumbled bee too? Like... Brains. 
just like that. But along with that, now they are slamming on the door because now they want to get inside and have some tasty brains because there are four tasty brains in the room that are living for some reason. They're okay. not interested in brains that are okay. not living. Uh, okay. I think we should actually take a we should take a ten Wonderful. minute break. Okay. Um, and then while while you th while you assess <laughs> and think about the life choices that have brought you to the place where you are. And we'll see everyone back after our ten minute lunch break, homeroom break, whatever whatever wonderful thing Isabits put on the put on the slide. I think you call it lunch break. I or I did. I did, and it's not cooperating with me. So you may just see a blank screen for a minute and I apologize. I'm trying to fix it. Um Should we delay until it, it looks like it wants to be happy with you? Um <laughs> Yeah, somebody just talk. Just fill air for a minute and I will fix it. <laughs> So, so how are people they were there it? and they were just screaming yeah. and, and and Mr. Range is just saying his name and then Tammy's saying his name and then Annie started the saying his locked? name too. Did you lock uh, the door? I don't uh, think the door's locked. It's it's public school. I think I think uh, Gavin let's... is like holding the door shut. Yeah, yeah. All, all the doors in a school should lock from the inside. They they should. I'm pretty sure that's a safety like to thing. Lock the door. Yes. Lock the door. Okay. Great. Somebody lock. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Uh, cool. <laughs> I Can have a quick fix, up? so I we are ready to go whenever you guys are. But continue talking, All right. if you want. The door to. is Great. locked. Good. Yes. Uh, uh, can we pick up this uh, set piece and put it up against the door? Just you know, extra insurance. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. So, yep. Start moving stuff. Why it says that but doesn't do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gee, thanks, the Wyatt. only other real piece of furniture in this room, by the way, just to let you know, is a desk, but it's a desk on wheels. So there's not really what you call a lot of heavy duty stuff in this choir room, except for Joey's ego. But well, there's Joey's that, did, and then so. the only other thing in here is that window to the courtyard, which doesn't open. Yeah, it's, it's a scenic. Window. Uh, I'm gonna start oh, pushing the desk ooh, over towards spicy. the window. <laughs> ooh, spicy. It's remember, it is a rolling desk. I cannot. I can. Oh, I know. Say but, that, well, if you. It, that's why I'm pushing the desk because it's on wheels. It's the easy thing yes. to do right now for the small guy that I am. This is the choir room, right? And it it's has access, choir. and it has the stage with the stage door and, and all that, so you can get underneath the stage. No, no. no it's okay. This is like no. the more the. This not isn't the performing fancy. choir room. It's the yeah. Rehearsing yeah. The, the choir. school so, is not. A magnet school, so they don't have the budget for that. Uh, it's... Nobody funds the arts so... anymore, man. So yeah. I have one important question, and then I think we can go to break. Yes. Do we know what zombies are? Are we in those worlds? Are we living in the those movie worlds yeah. where no one is living in the world? We yes. know they're feral in some way. You've, right. I, I, there, there was this weird thing where there was someone hijacked the news once earlier in the year and showed clips from the end of Train to Busan. So, like, most of you have an idea that zombies, if you haven't seen any other zombie movie, uh -huh. you're pretty sure it's localized trains in wherever the heck Busan is. And I'm sure I'm butchering the name. But, yes, you all have some idea of what a zombie is, if you've not. Uh, then I think as we fade out to commercial, Gavin just screams out, we're not even nearby trains. <laughs> oh, God. We just have to make it to the day after tomorrow. There we go. Uh, all right, on that note, I'm going to take us out. We will be back in about 10 minutes. <laughs> if we make it 28 days, we'll survive. Oh, my God, I hate you all. Welcome back, one and all, Hello. to our wholesome tale from Kennedy High School, Kennedy Lions, Let Your Might Roar. I will remind our players as we go into this exciting, new, and terrifying world that they live in, in which uh, Mr. Rains addresses himself as Bahrains and does a lot of growling and it's very weird. And mm -hmm. your Matthew, your best friend Tammy, is apparently also doing that same thing. And Annie, who people tolerate, is also doing that same thing. Um, I remind you, each of you has a special thing that you can do, so don't forget the special things that you can do. Um, also, when you fill roles, don't forget to take adversity tokens and, in an mm -hmm. homage to Glee, um, Every one of you has special creativity things you can do, and if you use your creativity, you will get a bonus creativity token that can be cashed in like adversity mm -hmm. tokens or Chuck E. Cheese tokens, if you will. 
There we go. Now, one thing I appreciate is the thought process Wyatt has about how long the bodies have been cold. Mm -hmm. And I found out that ambient room temperature is a thing within two hours of death, and you're not feeling a pulse. So unless this is one of those big glue things where they're not dead and they're just all kind of lying there, yeah. uh, but they're real cold. Yeah. At least yeah. room temperature cold. Exactly. So. Um, and like I mean, it being die. nighttime, it's probably a little colder in the room than it was during the day, so they're probably matching that. The yeah, the sun, so the sun is going down, yeah. so it's a good thing you've got lights. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Is there so any flashlights Gavin... anywhere in here? Uh, Not would that anyone like of. to do? Would anyone like to do a brains roll and? Yeah. Because there's not an investigation thing, so a brain I've roll. I've been is working be on the set stuff. stuff. Maybe I know yeah. where the tools are. And the, I'm gonna uh, try to do a brains roll to take a look at this window. Great. I love so, this. Gavin nope. is not going today. to. That's a six. Take the time while everyone's doing that kind of stuff. We we we. I seen... exploded. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, you. Oh, I exploded and got a thirty-three yeah. on my brains roll. Uh, 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 that is a very high roll. That's um, absurd. Um, uh, so, <laughs> so yeah. It's, essentially so what I was thinking with the window yeah. is it's not made to open, but they're all sealed around the frame by um, you know, something similar that I could just work away at that and then pop the window out. Yeah. That was fine. essentially my goal. Uh, with uh, with the 33, I'm going to give that you do that. Awesome. Um, How big is the opening of this window? You would be able to get through, but uh, while you're considering getting Empty. through, because it's a, it's a clear <laughs> enough break that you can mm -hmm. do it, um, on the other side of the courtyard, you see um, the beginner PE teacher, Mrs. Brink, who is married to Mr. Brink. Uh -huh. And she is uh, roaming the hallway. She's walking very slowly. Uh, one would say with a little bit of a limp, which is a little strange because she's usually very perky and very, come on, everyone, time for volleyball. Do um, I notice that before I pop the window out? Uh, no, you have popped the window out. Yeah. Uh, but th then you see her. Um, and she's just walking kind of slowly. Uh, she has... Uh, she has a couple of the softball players uh, with her kind of trailing behind her. They mm -hmm. they look a little cult-like, which is weird. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's, there's kind three of... of them I see, slowly yeah, there's, shambling, there's so to speak. Well, I, I'm shambling is a very loaded word, but it's correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I chose um, my word for a reason. They have heard that noise, <laughs> by the way, uh, but they can't seem quite to figure out how to get to the indoor courtyard. But mm -hmm. uh, they are looking at you now. You have garnered their attention. So, congratulations. Yes. So, I'm going to duck back down. Gavin has been tearing around the room. Because um, oh. Gavin has seen the shittiest of zombie movies, so therefore has seen the... You uh, saw the vegan zombie movie where they're in the cornfield and the tomatoes eat them? I did. Well, he probably has, but he's also seen. Um, oh, That's a real geez. zombie movie, by the way. You can look it up, folks. It's like Night of the Vegan Zombies, where where they're vegans and they get punished for being vegans by being. Like, so it's a whole thing. It's a. You can look it up. It exists. It's. Exists. It's as bad as it sounds. It's. It it's is. in like a four pack of monsters. It's not as good as Night of the Living Tomatoes, which was the other idea I had for this show. So, but, uh, but he has seen World War Z. Oh, good movie. Great movie. Yeah. And so immediately is grabbing any type of script book or like sheet music or anything like that to and goes into his backpack and grabs the grip tape and starts essentially making bracers for himself. Um, you can't use exactly. those! Uh, the script no. for uh, the... If if you had left it out, the script for the Christmas story, the musical, is right oh, no. there on top it's, as it's he's our, wrapping it around his arm. No, uh, she's okay. like trying yeah. to like take. The, the, That's a great idea. One, that is school property, and you cannot damage it. I'm, I'm gonna go down there while he's doing it, and while Roxy is saying this to him, pull out one of the <laughs> library books 
for my backpack and just rip pages out and start doing the same thing. <laughs> she's, she's like having a full blown meltdown at that. Like, <laughs> this, uh, this is Jules in the historical society all is. over again. You are so, beset on all sides by criminales. Question beset about Wyatt. Sides. What yeah. are you wearing? Uh, what, what kind of clothing are you wearing? Um, like probably like a t-shirt and jeans. Uh, yeah. So yeah. when you start do when you start doing that, he pulls the grip tape back from you. He's like, "You're gonna rub up your skin, bro. Come on." And then uh, he goes into his backpack, pulls out like a backup hoodie, and puts it on Wyatt to give you long sleeves because putting oh, the grip tape on your baggy. skin. Yeah, it's literally like he, you are now wearing a a dress of uh, of a hoodie. Why, I feel you, like I'm wearing a moo moo now. But it says grizzly on the also, back. You also smell a little bit like Lunchables for some reason. Even if uh, even, oh, even if you haven't had Lunchables, like you just why right. you just now uh, you're gonna smell like Lunchables for the rest of the show. Like that's just it's like in I your think skin. I'm gonna take the hoodie off and be like I I like the thought. But I feel like it's too much for them to grab. Uh, then actually, you know what? He he takes it, he holds it for a second, and says, "Yeah, fuck it," and then rips it and starts basically shredding up the hoodie and starts using that to help like pad people's arms, and then awesome. layering it with the scripts. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're, we're going to start building armor for yeah. people while we're looking over at, at rocks and be like, "Do you sure you yeah, don't?" At least forearm things, and they're like literally. Gavin turns and he's got like yeah. half a script book in his mouth, the other half being ripped off. He's got a shred of his hoodie in one hand. The grip tape in his other hand just goes, eh? Uh, Roxy, Here, let me one help of you. Script, one of those grips books was something Mr. Reigns got signed while in New York. And you can see, like, half a signature from, like, Patty Lapone, just, like, on one portion of it. What? You can't do that. That was signed. How? No, you have to go find something else. Like, you can't, you can't it's do that. It's already ripped up. One of what's great about this is, depending on what we need to do later, we at least have something on us that we could use for a campfire, too. You're not burning the scripts. Okay. Well, not yet. Okay. Well, there's a couple of them that you could probably go ahead and burn because they're terrible, <laughs> but the majority of them, we're not burning. It's bad enough you've torn them up. So, I mean, to be uh, fair, I just ripped out the random book. It's... it's a library. In fact, what was this one? I forget. <laughs> like, looks at the cover and like, eh. It, you it's like actually lame is, like you're but thinking Victoria. instead of a Proust book or something like yeah. that, like you were reading yeah. Proust. Jules has taken <laughs> so, her backpack off and she's hugging it tightly to her so nobody tries to take it from her. <laughs> so nobody rips her gone her I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody. Who is taking her backpack off? Roxy. You full on said Jules. Did I? Yes. I... <laughs> Close enough. It's Jules, fine. Jade, whoever. <laughs> Whoever I am tonight, I am today. <laughs> whichever personality I am channeling right. today. All right. So Matthew's um, gonna go to his backpack, and he starts kind of. He pulls out the water bottle, and he pulls out a multi-tool. He's like, "All right, at least I can modify this." So he wants to Did you drink the water in that already. I haven't even started drinking the water in this. We then you shouldn't beforehand. damage the bottle. I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I'm just no, seeing no, no, you I'm with doing something else. That and, okay. Uh, so I'm going to look around for materials. Obviously, there's lots because we have some art supplies in here mm -hmm. and, and whatnot. And I would like to try to fashion armor. A little cool. bit better than what be... Grizzly is doing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A brain's role is always welcome for the fashioning yeah. of armor. Yeah, yeah um, I can do that. I'm gonna say I was gonna take the 16. the cover of the books that I had left since I just ripped out all the pages, and try to use that towards improving my armor. That's a six <laughs> on a d20. You manage. So Roxy, <sighs> you watch as Matthew disassembles a uh one of those choir stands. But doesn't quite get it all the way off. So now you can have actually a just help stand him like do this. Just swinging. Is that possible? Swinging in the wind. Everything's sacred to you, Roxy. Everything's sacred. Everything's useful. Matthew knows better. They're just. Would I be able to just have, help Matthew with his I, armor? I just gotta say, 
this is the most typical myself. high school boy experience of the second a zombie appears, fuck it, destroy everything and armor yourself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this, this is a montage is, sequence is, right here. Is Mr. Rains and Tammy and Annie like uh, at the door? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and they're speaking just... of which, I go over to the set piece that uh, that we 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 Jack and Rose on, and I want to find like like a support like uh, board or something like that, and just start trying to it, 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 pull up and to get it free so I have something to swing. Well, what is that set piece? Actually? Can I give you is a brawn wall since I'm trying to rip it out? No, brawn uh, is defense. But I want to use the D twenty. All right. Wait, I wait hold on. Do Was the set to piece a big wall? With. Was that what you the know what? Piece was? I think because we're, was... we have that weird Christmas play thing going on, it's probably a set piece for that, and that's what I was helping. Or like build. a backdrop or something. It's 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 yeah. the big Christmas tree. Oh, it's a big Christmas tree. Okay. Uh, so it has a, so it's you know like this to hold it up. But I've engineered oh. like extra little pieces, wings coming off of it. Yeah. So here's the deal with just drawing wood off of set pieces, be them Hollywood plaster or not, sometimes you get nicked by nails. I'm not saying that's going to come back to be a problem for you, Grizzly, but uh, yeah, it's fine. definitely in pulling it up, I will give you that you do pull up a 2x4 that is big enough to be used, at least by you, um, but there are nails, and a pointy one definitely catches. Uh just ah, a little fuck. bit, not too much. Yes, yes, Roxy. How are we doing? How are we feeling? <laughs> I am. Are we very? Uh, I'm very stressed out. People are destroying everything. Are you, con um, are you conflicted? Because Mr. Rains was like a little weird, but like he was also, you know, oh, yeah. maybe he's not dead. Maybe it's rabies. It could be rabies. Yeah, but that's not good either. <laughs> at this point, um, I do oh, have a yeah. question. Eight hours of rabies would be would be pretty mm. bad. Yeah, that, that, there, there's no coming back from that. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not rabies. My no, no. question is: um, Is there anything in this room that I can use to armor myself without destroying school property? Please give me that brains roll. Okay. I would say yes, but in the sense that we can destroy it, and then you can use it to make armor. <laughs> yeah, I mean... No. I just so technically, like that would make your statement chairs. accurate. I have a well, D12 oh, no. in brains, and I got a one. Oh. So, I, yeah. I have, I have, I have a, in order to do the, uh, in order to go into the conceit of the thing, I know what song we're doing now. Uh, and so it's literally, um, Grizzly grabs the board, and yanks it twice, and then the the zombies slam into the door. Do, do. Do, 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 do. As the montage starts playing, and we all start going into very tense, we right. will rock you as we're not, starting to like no, rip things don't. apart. That is not musical theater. Don't include me in that. I am not. <laughs> you don't I have to include on the classic I will, rock and roll of mine. I will retort. Kill the queen, David. Um, Roxy. The what? The only That's thing in this fair. room. Shot of the dead. I, I know. Yeah, the, 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 so, the next Ro line after Kill the Queen is the what? Uh, the jukebox. Uh, gotcha. I was sorry. I was Roxy, continuing. Not... Uh, sorry. Roxy, and then I will address that. Uh, Roxy, the only thing you have in this room that you could possibly deconstruct in order to make a any armor for yourself would be the only female costume mannequin. It doesn't have a head, so it's not creepy. But it's the only thing in the room that's. Well, you going can take the screen. torso apart and have like a breastplate kind yeah. of thing. Uh, can I? That's just, what the one gets you. Do I see her struggling so hard right now with trying oh, yeah, to do no, this? It's, it's obvious. Yeah. I, yeah I'm just gonna try to go day. over and help her make armor. You, you, you can uh -huh. see that I'm like having a hard time, like just uh, there's too many ideas going on. Like he's flipped a chair over and he's unscrewing the legs because you know <laughs> yeah. weapons, uh, mm -hmm. and but then the 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 seat that he is now left free. And he's he's like trying to shove it into his backpack to, to turn make it into her a breastplate from mannequin parts. <laughs> yeah. I think I think in yep. Bad Kid Solidarity, 
Uh, as Wyatt is, is like walking over to Roxy, Gavin, like without looking, just tosses the grip tape and like, catches it <laughs> without looking. Like, just like, man. <laughs> as we're right. destroying so Let's get to work. This montage is lovely, and I'm yeah. I'm gonna give you and uh, I'm gonna give yeah. you a solid hour and some. Here's a couple of problems that are gonna happen mm -hmm. about currently the same time. The first problem is that eventually the regular lights are gonna go out and the uh, mm -hmm. secondary lights are gonna come on, so it's gonna get kind of like a, a fluorescent in the bad way. Yeah. Uh, the other part is is that the sustained slapping that the three feral creatures that were once your friends, classmates, and teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, even a school door is not going to hold against that, so we'll say you get all your armor done, I'm going to give mm -hmm. you that, because that tendril makes yeah. that happen, uh, along other things. Um, I'm going to give you a bit of a... I'll give you five minutes where uh, I'm going to say uh, in, in honor of your broad... I'm going to say Gavin notices that the door is starting to kind of crack under the stress of the the three friends. Yeah, um, there might be more than three out there right now. All right, folks, it's going to be game time soon. All right. Everybody I'm, ready? There's still donuts, right? Are there still donuts, Gavin? Have you just eaten them all in a subsumation of sugar? I think because why it exists, it. no. I think Gavin keeps going back for them during the montage. Yeah. And Wyatt's like slapping them out of his hand, like, no, <laughs> we have to, or we have to, we have to make. Well, to make what I was going to do now is start taking donuts and putting them in my backpack. Oh, oh I was just going to take the box. Lynch donuts. I'm just going to oh. take the whole box. I don't care if the donut falls apart. I'll reach in the backpack and eat crumbs if I have to, just to have some semblance of food on me. It's not the crumbs that are the problem. It's. Everything oh, in your backpack. That is I'm not going to care about that. The Besides, shading. there's different sections of the backpack, right? The wad of glue that you've used. Putting it in the one that rubber. the books were in, right? Oh, so yeah. good. Not the one that has the the slide or the uh, transparent uh, I, sheets or yes. the key or whatnot that I have. But Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so you got... Um, Gavin, you hear it before you see it. That sound of uh, something kind of breaking woodwise. Uh, Matthew, you're not far behind because you design set pieces. Um, Roxy and White, you probably don't hear it as much because you're you, you finished the mannequin, but they're still like. Yep. I, I have, like, have kind of wrapped a mannequin around Roxy at this point between the tape and the mannequin pieces. Fabulous. Um, yeah, so you got about, I'll give you about five minutes. Right. Um, uh, also, why you just yeah. mentioned there might be more zombies, so that might be something yeah. to inquire about, potentially. Given that time has passed, zombies? Uh, well, when I looked out the window, there's at least three more out there. And my Six assumption times. is anybody that wasn't in this room is probably crazy right now. No. no. There's no way we got what? Night of the Cometed. I'm Ooh, deep cut. I wish I could give you a story point for that. That's, That's a great this, this is This is more a Night of the Creeps kind of thing, okay? Uh, so I'm going to take the, the two by four. Or Night of the Demons. Oh. Uh, and I'm going to basically, instead of holding it like like a like a bat or like a, a sword, he's holding it sideways like a like a kind of battering ram. He's like, everybody get behind me. I'm going to grab a mannequin arm. Yep. <laughs> I have, maybe. I'm wielding a chair leg. <laughs> Amazing. Do you want to grab the other arm, Roxy? They got something. I, I wasn't going to give them sure. arms, but I think I'm going to do that just for just for the hilarity of you carrying a lightweight. It was either that or like the legs, it's some sort of limb that we weren't able to turn into armor. <laughs> Wyatt, give me a hand. <laughs> yeah, I guess I will take the other arm. It'll be better than singing at them. Although, song could fix them. Have you this, tried that yet? You don't this know. This is true. It worked in Gravity Falls. It made them explode. Yes. Oh my All God. All right. Well, yes. if you want to start singing at the top of your vocals. Well, well, sound did, I think, change them into. I think that tone that we heard was a lot worse outside of this room, being that this room is probably 
Well, yeah, considering everyone in here is dead except for us. I'm yeah, but they're not, they're zombies, not zombies right now. Zombies. Exactly. That is very surprising. So sound is likely what caused this in some way. No. All right, everybody. Oh, no. let's, let's do this. Whatever. They're coming through. Um, Open the door. <laughs> at, once we get out, let's try to get to the nurse's office. Actually, if Where? we can get to the auxiliary caf uh, cafeteria and gym, there's uh, there's a way we can get safe. Yeah. Medical supplies is probably a good thing to get, though. Where is the nurse's office? Because uh, it's not listed here. Uh, I'm uh, going to have it over by where the security office is, because that's also like admin. Okay, awesome. that's fair. So, yeah, oh, so those, over are, there. those are opposite ways uh, for those playing along at home. Um, so they we're are. gonna have ourselves a good old fashioned oh. telltale game choice when we uh, when we get out of these doors. So auxiliary calf. What, what's the auxiliary calf? <laughs> As the door breaks open. <laughs> that's where it, that's, yes. So that's where like all the debate. That's where the debate team is. That that would be where the stage for the show choir is. It's it's where like all the stuff that doesn't happen in the big cafeteria, like the science fair, happens in the little cafeteria. All right. Um, so yeah. one of you get your hand on that door. And when they pull back to attack again, open it up and I'll go through. I want to try to take them off. So, uh, if you are taking point, I'm going to have you do yeah. the brawn roll, and I'm going to do, do the that. fight roll. Uh, so, here, now you get to use your brawn! Yay! I'm going to roll like crap. Probably yeah. gonna win. The door opens. I get plus one on brawn, Rain. too, because I'm... Yeah. Uh, see, there I didn't do too bad. Mr. Reigns only has a four as their fight, so I got a twelve. Yeah, that's a twelve. So you uh won I that quite easily. I'm sorry, so... Jim, but oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so yes, the door opens, and literally it is the full on like if he was a full player line blacker mode of shoving them back up against like the the opposite side of the the hallway, and it's just like go 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 go. Because he's not making a choice, but when 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 you when you guys run in one direction or another, he'll follow. So, cafeteria is to the right else? or our left. Nurses our station left. to the right. Nurses and I mean, admin to the right. We could split up. I think I think getting medical supplies would probably be a good idea. I don't know if splitting up's a great idea. Uh, I don't think any actually. Idea. I know uh, where you are, are, Mr. Rain. No security. All right, so we go out and go to the right <laughs> towards security and admin. I'm gonna stab so... one of the zombies. Oh, all right. Well, please give me that fight roll while you were stabbing. Stab. I'm making a run for That's it, trying to keep two. my eyes out for anything else. But you still beat me, so you do hey. stab. Me. Um, unfortunately, stab. yes, you do stab. So because you won that, I, I won't be mean. But uh, bear in mind, one of these uh, quote unquote zombies was your friend or is your friend, may still be your friend. Uh, I will say you stab Annie. Um, I will say that you stab Annie. Uh, so a okay. couple things. A uh, couple things you notice as you're heading to the security office slash nurse's office slash admin principal. Um, Matthew, you notice mm -hmm. this right away for plot reasons. There's no computer in here anymore. There should definitely be at least one computer in this room. Um, computer. Roxy, you notice. Uh, here's a fun thing that has happened at this school in the past eight hours that is very new and very frightening. Um, you can't see outside because there are metal roll gates that have gone down. So that's fun to know. Um, Wyatt, would you like to know who got fired last week and cleaned out the office? As in the nurse's station as well? Uh, yeah, so you find like some Advil, a few packs of Advil and uh -huh. some bandages, but uh, it's not necessarily a nursing nirvana. Uh, you You actually find the nurse's like resignation note in the cabinet like screw you i'm taking these with me and it's very metal but not great for you um because i'm a nice person 
Yeah, I thought it was I, I weird she never you, reported I, her copy of the key missing. Um, yes, I, I will give you that uh, you do find, like, a needle sewing kit yeah. stuff, because this is also mm -hmm. where they keep the supplies for the failed home yeah. class experiment. So you do you do find some, like, needle and sewing stuff, which is good. Mm -hmm. Needle sewing but, uh, stuff. But the treasure trove of Advil. supplies is some yeah. bandages right okay some bandages it's like okay. the rolling tape things so yeah uh, wait a minute in matthew's brain out of character for matthew does matthew remember if he can get to the secret uh, not so secret under under the thing from here i feel like that was a thing from the security office but i can't remember Give me a brain. Well, if anything, so we should see if there's keys in the security keeper. office, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At the very least. Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> Not Fun. today. Fun story. There's no computer in this room, but instead of a computer, there is some weird, like, keypad system. And we're Ooh. pausing to reflect. Yes. Yep. On on the things that are currently missing in this room, we are pausing. <laughs> when you roll a natural one, so the world easily, has fallen apart. It kicks you out one of, of our people got kicked out. I mean, you're not having a good day. That's for sure. Yeah. All right. So, <sighs> I've got a question. While we're, while we're waiting yeah. for uh, reason to come back, um, the the computer that should be here in like the security office, is it gone or is it like destroyed? It's gone. There is a desk where it resided for people that have been in trouble previously or mm -hmm. have been late to school. So there's that thing where you have that space where an object was, and so it's a different color than the outside of where that object was. And there was a secretary here like a few days ago for the last day of classes, but both her and the principal's computers are gone. The nurse has resigned. Yeah. So, I don't know if you were worried about any of that, but... Uh, and there's a keypad yeah. system? Yeah, there's a keypad system where any keys would have been. Um, so, like, a key code that's, like, a, a box that seals the keys? Uh, no, so it's like there, it's like an interface that's not booted up, and then a whole bunch of, like, numbers... Mm -hmm. next to it and it looks like where the lockbox for keys were okay it has been replaced with this thing uh, that is not booted up also the metal shutters that we saw leading to the outside mm -hmm. were we aware oh, of those notice that Oh, yes. well, you, you're not because you're holding zombies back or unless okay. you drop That's fine. the 2 by 4 absolutely fine I'm uh, but Everyone else in this room remembers the principal office abuts the outside, and you can't see the outside, and it's dark mm -hmm. because of metal roll cages over the windows. So that's fun. Or maybe it's not fun. I don't know. We're in the security office right now, right? Did, did, did Gavin run after us? Did he? Or I thought, is he still I thought I pushing followed, those zombies I, up against the wall? Did you follow? The last thing, the last thing you said was, "I'm shoving them against the lockers," and after that is, I, and then I, I stabbed didn't... one. <laughs> yes, and there was stabbing. So did yeah. did you follow? Um, they're just gonna chase me. Uh, I think you. I think Gavin won't have followed. Gavin will shout down. Is it secure? Enough. Uh, I would like to high stick Mister Reigns in the face with my. Two by four, and then run after to uh, oh, to okay. then close the door behind me. I feel like there should be a so, one line there, like hit him and be like, "Your music actually... sucked, anyways," and then run off. Nice. So this is going to actually be uh, a fight roll for me, which is not very high at all. But it's going to be a flight roll for you because oh, this is like a dodge away. action. I'm mm -hmm. supposed to stay still in a in a in a, in a net. Are... You know, I was going to make a music joke about, like, never being able to hit that high note and it always being flat, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh. Oh, I man. mean, so you still won with your six because okay. I got a three because D4 is uh, his yeah. is Mr. Rain's fight score. So you still did it. So here's the question I have, uh, and you can narrate this however you wish. 
Are you toting the two by four or are you abandoning the two by four? Uh, no, two by four is, is my best friend now. Well, second best friend. Reggie's okay. my best friend. Wyatt, you're a close third. Um, then would you like to narrate the two by four and the hilarity of either trying to bring it into or deciding where to place it outside the security room office? Uh, so yeah, admin. it's basically we're not going to call it the security room. We're going to call it admin because it's admin. You know, it's fine. admin. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Um, uh, so yeah, it's basically he, uh, when he gets the Wyatt thing back enough, he stands back, slug like you know, swings it wide, slugs uh, Mr. Reigns across the face, uh, then goes skittering away, running in the door, and it literally is the moment of like you know the dog with a too big of a stick, where he just goes running into the door and like just kind of bounces off the door frame for a second, and then turns sideways and goes stupid cat always got sideways and then <laughs> slams the door behind it and then uses the two by four to shove it like like kind of wedge the door shut hilarious um so all right now you're in the admin office yep. and you've noticed some things are amiss is one the general to another guys like where those metal yeah. shutters come from where's outside out there past no the outside. shutters <laughs> Where's so... outside? I want to give you a story point so bad. It's not Power Rangers, though. <laughs> uh, Gavin will be like, I, I know I missed every single morning assembly we were supposed to have, but is this like a security system? Not one that I've seen. Or me. And I was here during the science festival. What's this keypad thing? Does it look like it's actually concealing or sealing away something, or is it just random? Nothing keypad. I should worry about. Can I do a brain scroll on this Always. thing? All right. Uh, see if my system no, with the brains. Like for this. There is no in this game. I'm trying uh, to figure out this keypad and how to it. get into it. Jesus. So <laughs> it's not the fact that you don't know what it goes to. As mm -hmm. you look at it, it's more that something is supposed to be plugged into it that's not. Mm -hmm. And your brain, for some reason, is screaming, don't let this get plugged in. And you don't know why, but your brain is like either remembering a James Bond movie or something you read in a book about security systems. And you're like, it's not plugged in. That's very And good. this isn't something that's not normally supposed to be here. It's It, it, right. it has replaced the keys. Right. The, the the keys that are very important to you specifically mm -hmm. have been replaced by this. Uh, it is approximately the same size as the lockbox was, and it's just... So all the doors in the building are now electronic? Seems that not, way. not by keys. Okay. So if I boot this up, it might potentially unlock all the doors, which could cause boot problems. Door, or lock us all in, or... With yeah. your thirty-one, yeah. With your thirty-one, it's missing a component that would boot it up. Right. There's something that there's something it should be connected to mm -hmm. that would give it the computer. power it needs. Perhaps. Right. But there are no computers in this admin office for the school, which is weird, right? That's right. weird, right? That should feel concerning. S I think. So I feel like I should tell you guys about the science fair. In a very well, quick, I, I don't like where this is it's going. Important. First, first things first, though. Uh, Gavin walks over to the to the to any phone that is here. Is there a phone in, the, in existence? Like like a landline there's, there's, one? Yeah, there's a landline in here. Would you like to know what happens when you listen to it? Bye, guys. Well, pick, picks up the phone, holds it to his ear. No, this isn't that kind of horror movie. Uh, nothing. Seven days. Fofo Mimi? Um, Fofo Yu Yu? Sorry. It's as empty <laughs> as my soul. Okay. I take it, no signal. Nothing. Uh, no tone. It takes Gavin a... In... No, no, wait! I take that back. You get whole music that is uh, Can You Hear the People Sing from Les Mis? Just over and over again. You get whole music. <laughs> Are you on hold? It's obvious Apparently. that you're not a theater student. Uh, Gavin hangs. Gavin hangs up the phone. Says, looks at the phone, and goes. 
I, I prefer send him home. And then turns around, you know, pick, picks up the backpack with Reggie, and then phone's not working. We're locked in. Hold on. Yeah, we're locked in. Everything is locked down. Our phones are bricked. The phone lines are bricked. There's no component to open the doors. And and the shutters. Everyone's either Power. dead or zombified by the noise that we heard before yeah. we collapsed. Except for whomever sealed this building shut and removed the computers? I have a thought, and I don't like it. Science fair. And so I'm uh -huh. going to tell them about the science fair and the really cool stuff, and then I'm going to beeline back to the principal and the elevator mm -hmm. and the cafeteria mm -hmm. and going up there uh, to investigate but not finding it. To the principal I, I will I will fill in the pieces of this story. Um, yes. All of you know there are four levels to this school, and the uh -huh. attic level is kind of like a catch-all for like old desks or things that are going to uh -huh. get renovated or whatever. Or it's whatever. Yeah. There's like a freight elevator that goes up there. Uh, what Matthew saw that was not supposed to be seen by any student because it was done during the science fair was the principal rolling in a cart full of equipment going the opposite side of the play field while he knew people would be focused elsewhere and taking that up and, and not that just that equipment not. military equipment for security militant security equipment yes it had a name and i have it written down somewhere uh but oh, i don't have it with me yeah, and it, 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 it's it's uh if you it, i have it written down somewhere but suffice it to say it's it. on the boxes it looks ominous it says heaven's security equipment I wrote it down. Heaven's security? Heaven's security equipment. It's military grade equipment for security. This is an experiment. We are inside a huge science experiment. Awesome. Unless it's affecting the entire area and then we're screwed. So our parents are probably just outside the, the things. But in order to get out, we'd unleash the zombies that are inside and create havoc. That would be so unfortunate. Okay, well. I mean, so we got backup power going. These, yeah, for now. That means all the doors that have these electronic locks to them probably have power still going to them. Otherwise, they would probably which, default to open for which fire means we code. Need to find but... the, the thing that activates the box but in doing so it might also trigger an alarm and that might draw mm -hmm. attention to us however yeah. we could go upstairs if the ele if the elevator in the cafeteria is not bricked like our cell phones we might be able to either a climb it or b ride it to the top where the crow's nest is where i saw him That's take this stuff Oh, I, mean, I hate this school so much. I've seen enough horror movies to know you never want to go upstairs. I'm just saying. Upstairs I... is always a bad idea. Um, well, if we're I'm trapped sure. and that's the only way to horror movie have you this been equipment or the roof. the basement. <laughs> no, it is always upstairs when you're being it's chased. The basement. No, well, yes, you don't want to go well, in the basement yeah, either. Right. But you, if you're being oh chased God. by a serial killer, everybody goes upstairs. And they, you know that's a stupid okay. idea. What I'm saying is... Uh, Going upstairs, okay. If we have to do that, then we have to do that. But maybe that there, maybe there's a way that we can get out down here. We haven't been through the hole downstairs, and maybe there's yeah, a way to get out without letting out everything else. I don't think it's a good idea to try to like turn this stuff on yeah. and open the doors. And I don't think it is right now out. either. All right. So until we know more of what the hell this thing would actually do. Gavin is not saying any of this out loud, but it's two quick questions for the for the guidance counselor. Yes, One, of course. How may I guide you today? Uh, Gavin looks up at the ceiling. Are there cameras in this school? Oh, yes, there are many cameras. You know, my favorite one of my favorite shows about high school is Daria, which quite famously is about over-securing the school. Um, thank you, Principal Lee. So, yes, there are cameras. You and are correct. Are, are, do the cameras still have like the red light on or any indication that they're still active and recording and transmitting? 
I would like to quote one of my favorite Family Guy characters. No. That's, that's no. fine. No, 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 uh, no. But two, yeah. uh, because I again, got. I have the reckless law. Um, yeah. The, the windows in the choir room were meant to open. Do the windows going out of the admin office, or were they meant to open? Well, they're windows. So yeah, uh, while everyone is, is debating and talking about the uh, thing, Gavin walks over to the window, unhooks it, slides it up, and does shave and a haircut on the on the metal uh, um, on the metal shutter. Well, I'd love a fight roll from you, please. Oh, okay, a fight! Uh, he is fighting yeah. a metal shutter. Fuck you, oh, window! No, it's it's, it's about that, but also I just I just need, I just need to know something. I get a plus one bonus to the. Also, uh, above table, uh, Elizabeth's. You know what my favorite horror series is? The series is right. I think you so. Sure yeah. You want to go in the base? You sure you want to go in the basement? <laughs> um, no, no, I don't really want to go to the basement either. I just say because I, I I care for your well being, and but, you know what you know, I will have to put down there. I if you go love and I love that series too, and the upstairs is not much better if I'm being honest. <laughs> I don't so, think anywhere Gavin, is going to be great right now. Uh, for those playing Gavin, along at home, you know I got a one on the die, and then with my plus one, I get a two. two. Yeah. yeah. So, so Gavin, you know how you're the fight character, right? Yep. Um, the thing that you happen to miss because you're reckless is that the metal shutters were down, but they had that like weird peak and valley thing going mm -hmm. on. So when you do the hit two with shaves in a bit, you actually slice open one of your knuckles a little bit. Uh, which, along with the nail that you took earlier, uh, and um, like I, I, I'm just saying, you might actually need a little bit of a bandage now. Like you might be bleeding a little bit. Gavin, do you it, just? Uh... Is this just a thing hockey players do, where they just injure themselves every once in a while to still? Uh, like... Gavin, yeah, full... power work. Gavin full on looks at you and pulls up his uh, his jersey to show like. A massive bruise over half of his ribs. And he's like, I don't even know how I got this. I rolled out of bed wrong, buddy. Oh man! All right, let's bandage this up. <laughs> you got anything else going on there, Gavin? We now have two yeah. and a half bandages left. Uh, two and a half bandages. I, I'm right. teasing. You have you have plenty of bandages. It's bandages. The bandage low is basically. Uh, I mean, this this should open into that uh, indoor courtyard. Is the indoor way to the indoor courtyard shuttered? Uh, no. Okay. But it's also and doesn't if... have emergency lighting, so now it's pretty dark. Uh, were we able to find flashlights when we were looking? Oh, did yeah. what was the role for the flash? Did you find? Um. I will be kind and benevolent and say that uh, Matthew and Roxy found a whole bunch mm -hmm. of uh, those, like, we were doing a production of Hair, and Mr. Rains bought a whole bunch of those weird roller skate glow lights mm -hmm. because the nudity was frowned upon. So instead of nudity, there were glow lights in Hair. So you have a whole bunch of those weird glow sticks you have to, like, break in half. Um, it's not a great deal of light, but it's better than suffocational darkness. Well. I assume by this point, uh, Mr. Rains, Tammy, and Annie are at the door that is to the other yeah, side. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's... Uh, I wasn't going to say anything, because I felt like it was oppressive enough already, but uh, yeah, they're all... You can... Uh, Matthew, it's probably hard for you Specifically because you were so close to camp. It might be hard for you as well, Roxy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's that's Tammy's voice. That's no, I never really liked Tammy's Tammy. name for some reason. Damn. Oh, Damn, so that's rough. Hot. Oof. Matthew, right. uh, so that's that's Tammy's voice. And it's, that's, that's, I don't know if that's hard for you. It's hard, not hard for Roxy, apparently, but. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard on me, and I'm I'm looking at her, and I'm like, "We're gonna watch, we're gonna watch our Disney movies." <laughs> no, I, I, you're I not think an Aristocat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you're not an Aristocat. 
You're not even gonna stick it. I do right, think if we can get across as this you guys are debating, courtyard. The auxiliary cafeteria no Matthew was mentioning is right on the other side. Yeah, well, I do also I do yeah. think one of the last thing is there some way to debating, get to that directly? Uh it does devolve into oh. brains, Gavin. Brains, Gavin. Brains, Gavin. <laughs> Brain like it just just constantly in the background. Fabulous. I, uh, I will say there's no direct way to get to the uh, auxiliary mm -hmm. cafeteria from the indoor courtyard because the other side of the cafeteria is where the stairs going up to the second floor are. Okay, so that's what the, uh, that's what the symbol is. Though that's what these these. Okay, but we can get the... across the indoor courtyard and hopefully get upstairs. Well, yes. Mm, On a normal day. Like... On a normal day, it wouldn't be a problem necessarily, but on the day that you're living in currently, the problem is, is that you remember Mrs. Brink and the two volleyball students that were shambling with mm -hmm. Mrs. Brink? Are they or... in the courtyard right now? Well, they're Still? at the door of the courtyard, and the door, there's no door to the courtyard. It's just kind of an open space that people walk through like a door. Uh -huh. So... You'll be yeah, going into a dark place okay. with them. So yep. that's just Never mind. Not, not going into the courtyard. Okay. So, so you so can. Fight the zombies you. at the door. No one's calling them zombies. They are legally distinct. What's, feral, the, what's the roof in this admin thing look like? Is it those little uh, foam tiles? It has the, it, yeah, it has the push -up. particle board tiles. Or I have so those above can... my head as we speak. Yeah, yeah um, let, let's see what's beyond those if we can. Somehow, All see right. if there's some sort of way up. we can crawl over into another room adjacent to this one or something. I don't oh. think that's going to be and a thing I can do, this, buddy. I, I mean, you could always cheerleader toss why. Why it like, looks like I would be like, uh That's also not something I can do. I'm, I, I'm brains, not, not, you know, uh so, because right. it's not a dodge or a flea, so if if you would like to do a fight roll to toss Wyatt cheerleader style up into no, the ceiling no, tiles, because no, they're not mind. painful, they're just no. Right. I think you should do it. I think it'll be exciting for everyone. I think there's um, desks and chairs that we can not climb. Gonna th a, I wouldn't throw yeah. people without without their consent, and B, I wouldn't even plan on throwing them. I was gonna lift him up. Oh you know, the, well, I mean, the, I like the cheerleaders. Hold on, the, you the meme of you know, the, lifting up your short friend where they can't see things. The nurse's office is in the admin area, right? Has a separate door and everything to it. Yeah, there was like a privacy curtain. The, the school didn't. The school didn't give the nurse her own office. So it's it's not a separate space. It's not. Nurse. It's it's a big enough okay. room where it's got privacy curtain, and there was like there is like a cot that you can nap on. Mm hmm. Yeah. Too and a weird poster about actual... lice. Huh? A weird poster about lice. That was like the big, the big item. Is it just yeah, a big poster yeah. with the, like a massive like lice on it? Um, Gavin, have you ever hog tied anything? Uh, Gavin goes bright red, and um, what? Um, may, what? Well, if we can take these two pieces of this privacy curtain and try to wrap two of those things up and just tie it closed in the back. We can hopefully take out two of them that way while someone else hopefully bites off the third one. I mean, well, I can just pin them all to a wall again and... Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, oh, I have an important question for the guidance counselor. It's the admin Tell me office. I guide you today. Do they have the standard weird flagpole slash pike with an American flag on it that just kind of sits in the corner? Um. So here's the unfortunate thing about that. It, anyone who's watched the promo video uh, knows about Charisma Jones, who was the head of the Kennedy Lion, Christ, Pride on the Rock, whatever the heck I called it. Um. She has all of those, and they're all up on the fourth floor because she's retrofitting them with very inappropriate Christian flags, because she's that kind of person. Uh, I hate this school so much. Yeah, 
Do you remember uh, prayer, uh, prayer at the flagpole day a couple years back, where they tried to like guilt you with cupcakes, Wyatt? Like they they tried real hard mm -hmm. to recruit you for the for the Jesus the Jesus they, group. Uh, they once covered themselves in pig's blood and ran on the uh, tried to run on the ice during a game to be Daniel with the lions, and it just oh, we had to forfeit that's hilarious. The game. Yeah, charisma wasn't happy about that she thought it was too showy but uh she did try to get a whole school assembly singing this little light of mine that was what she did her freshman year as a way of introducing herself to the school so there's a reason her name is charisma uh, but no she has all of the all of the like flagpole and gotcha. things apparently well um actually I don't know so, if she's in the building or not. Where so are we going next? What is the next step? Well, how many of these uh, glow lights do we have? 16. Okay. We have to try to find more and supplies. Do we have a container light. that is clear that we can see through? You could take the sharps container off the wall. There were no sharps in it because the last kid that had to give himself uh -huh. insulin graduated two years ago. So there's just like an empty sharps container on the wall. Aren't those red? They're but the top of them are clear. Uh, I was hoping for like a like a clear cup yeah. that usually has like the the tongue like a water bottle stuff. or something in it. Yeah. Well. If the, I mean, the, you'd still have that, except there was that senior year prank where the seniors decided they were going to put everything in the admin office in jello. And so now all the clear containers were taken out of the room so that no one would do that again. Um, yeah. They'll say that prank was worse. Well, it's a great prank, but I mean, <laughs> in this current it's moment. It, yeah, but it's bad, bad for you, good for them. Yeah. I was hoping to crack them all open and. Uh, use the screwdriver on my multi-tool to pierce them and put them all into the, like the the clear container so that we have like a a lantern of sorts. But you That'd know, whatever. Well, that would have been cool. But we. Do. I will say, if you want to do that, there is a science room on the second floor that you know of. Yeah. Where Doctor Vendergast Marsden has a whole bunch of science supplies. <sighs> So that is. Oh, we might have to make our way there to at least yeah, figure out some way to provide light. He has the uh, extra chemicals that we could prop. He might have the extra chemicals to make a giant glow stick, essentially. And uh, somewhere in this place, there's got to be flashlights. I mean, just just a good old fashioned flashlight. I mean, I mean, huh. for where's for the, the sake of the, the principal closet? being evil. Evil is such a strong word. Uh for the for the for the sake of the principle of being a, a mad scientist. Mad is such a strong I don't know. Not in this case. I feel it's like we're stuck in a Resident Evil game at this point. Yeah. Well. There's weird so, puzzles uh, and things. Let's get out of this room. Yeah. Uh, or so you where can are we stay going in next? that room and let them come to you? That's true. We could let them. What was that, Gavin? Uh, where are we going now? I mean, because we also do like right across the hall, we've got the main cafeteria. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like there, well, there's the potential of getting food and or vending machine yeah. and lights on them. That kind we of. We could stuff. also try to see if the if the uh, elevator is working. Although yeah, the with... freight one something. Yeah, the freight elevator. If it's working, great. If not, we can climb. How many of you can climb? Sure, why not? Gavin raises his hand. Great. <laughs> Roxy, can you climb? Pretty sure that's a flight thing, right? That's I can uh, climb. It would be a dodge. I, I, I'd give you that as a dodge, yes. Yeah, so yeah. Flight, yeah. Um, yeah, all right. I... Assumes a few things. I mean, I guess I'd rather not if I don't have to. Okay. That seems so the, like a the bad idea, current, but I can if I have to. The current choice is to go back through the door that we came through. Uh -huh. Knock the 
the uh, choir Roxy, teacher and Tam aside, and um, we'll go through the window. Annie is sort of saying brains, but also is sort of singing the sun will come out to brains morrow. So... But your bottom brains that brains morrow, they'll be brains? Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, something like that. So... They'll be brains. You don't need to yes. join in. Sorry. You don't need to join yeah. in, Matthew. Or I can't help it. It's, you know, Delightful. Tammy's infectious and He's probably in more ways than one right now. Literally. Literally. <laughs> oh, oh I was the one oh, wanting to infect her. <laughs> uh, so many things I didn't need to know. Uh, <laughs> anyways. So, you've got All right, if we yard, if we can open this got... door, I think what we should try to do is lure them in to this room then get our way out and try to close the door to seal them in here so they don't keep chasing us. Okay, what Seems are we like using to seal the door? Well, the door locks, right? From the inside. This goes well, bullshit. That, that, that's the question. Is it like <sighs> a turn lock? Does it have like one of those push locks you can no, do? It's just a turn lock, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh, why did you just give me everything I need from the teenage angst that section of uh, Hot Topics? <laughs> All right, so we'll open the is, door. Is, is the door uh, open inward or outward? I assume oh. inward. Inward, yes. Because it's an. So here's a fun fact I learned in drafting. It's the only thing I still remember. Most interior doors are made to open inward, and most exterior doors are made to open outward. That's why when you see a drafting mm -hmm. plan, the triangle of that represents right. the door is certain. It's because yeah. it's the inward-outward thing. Yeah, it's the one thing I still remember from high school's drafting class. And what's the handle like on the the side of the door facing the hall? or handle? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is one of those things where it's a thing, and you and you press the little button. It's a push bar. Not not the push bar, but it's, it's the handle with the little button. Oh, it's just oh, the gotcha. handle okay. with the butt with the. Yeah. Okay. So we could lock it behind us. And then but once it's pull, locked, pull, we pull. can't get back in. Well, it, they'll st we still have about an hour. Yeah. Because that's okay. how long it took them to break through the wire room door. Yeah, and once okay. they break through the door, we'll be able to get back in. But. <laughs> what about the zombies over there at the uh, courtyard door? We'll have to figure that out. When well, we, we don't know where they are. That's yeah. this is it is. I mean, they're still the, kind of at the courtyard. The last I know. saw. Yeah, okay. they're 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 like in that weird like not a doorway at the courtyard thing. Yeah. They're like it's that thing. The Simpsons episode where Mister Burns has all the diseases, so it's like a door thing. So yeah. like mm -hmm. they're all squished, like all trying to get through the door at one time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the legally distinct entities that are definitely not zombies, that might be zombies, um, yeah. are, you know, not right, necessarily. All right, okay, just call I go, them infected. I, I go and get... No, because I'll keep saying I'm infected by your genetics, and I can't keep doing repo jokes. Because people ha enough people haven't seen it. <laughs> Zydra comes can't in keep, a little glass vial. We don't need... My hair <laughs> I can't keep having it. my hair We do not need all. to break into song every time you mention a song. <laughs> I will say, for anyone that the has... You're the, the jock! No, <laughs> You're not no, supposed to be singing. Anyone, <laughs> no, wait, but anyone that has a punk music influence in their creative repo, I will give you punk. The repo. So... Okay, I would agree with that. I would agree with that one. Wait, did you? If, if did you? Pick, did I you have pop punk in my creative. Probably, yeah, yeah probably. That's I will probably give you a creativity created. token for Zydrate Anatomy. Thank you. I, I will give you that. All right. They're playing by Glee roles, so it doesn't uh, have to be outdoors. It can be the interior voice. I go and I grab. I, I go and I grab my my two by four of Doom that's bracing the door. Is everybody ready? I, I get my Wait. mannequin arm and I'm just like. With a like a, a baseball bat. Uh, wait, wait a second. Uh, um, okay. So, in honor of Ed, Ed and Eddie, we are going to name your two by four plank or Aww. big plank, whatever you prefer to do. Um, and now I'm ready. Cool. So, I'm gonna advise that we crack this door open and play whack a mole. Mm -hmm. I am armed and ready to go. I'm armed and ready to go. We can rotate out. Let's do this. 
Great. Well, I have an so actual whoever, arm. Whoever, literally. Whoever, uh, so the person that is going to be opening the door will need to give me the flight roll, or not flight roll. Let's have you do a fight roll for opening the door, and then we'll do a flight roll, which would be the dodge action, to see how well you get past okay. the reins mm -hmm. and Tammy and Annie. So yeah, I will, okay. Well, here's the thing. My full, my my, uh, Gavin is in his mind, you know, first in, last out kind of situation. He's. I, I do not want to get past them. I want to pin them against the wall and let everyone else go past them. Okay. Gavin's. You're still letting them in and then trying to pin them yeah. in here. Yeah. You, okay. you, Gavin has a D4 brains. If you mm -hmm. say the best idea is to let them in, Gavin will 100% agree with you. I'm saying uh -huh. we, we Spartan this and we just crack the door open, stab, shut it, crack the door open, stab, We've shut got it. nothing to stab with, that's the problem. I do. You have you have your multi tool. But that means that No, no, your... I have a I have the leg from the chair. Oh. That, is that really stabbing? It's more bludgeoning. We gotta we gotta get be able to swing. It's it's really not swinging, it's yeah, you're... stab. Yeah, you already stabbed one of them, right? What happened? Mm -hmm. Did they, they even it. react? Not really, no. Yeah, but if we can done. hit them in the head, maybe <laughs> it'll help. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're oh, Spartan. Okay, okay. yeah, that. let's Spartan idea. I like Gavin. Open the door enough that we can hit one of them. All right, and, then and we'll try to use open. that as a controlled bottleneck kind of thing, and just try to kill him at this point. So it is, is it fight, fight to open the door and then fight to stab, if that is what I understand. Whoever yeah. is opening the door needs yeah. to give me a fight. Whoever uh, stabbing yeah. also needs to give me a fight. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to open the door. Try to stab with a mannequin arm. Oh, that's fine. It's going to be an eight on my fight roll to open the door. Fabulous. I got a one, so probably everyone is going to do 11 on my fight roll. Fabulous. Um, yeah. Take so... a mannequin fingers to eyes at this point. <laughs> yeah. You do. Uh Matthew, those are Tammy's eyeballs that are getting stabbed by a mannequin fingers. That's probably why I don't succeed. No, on my step succeed. roll. No, you do because I got a <laughs> well, I got yeah, a one. Because you got one. So But I'm succeed, seeing that and I'm like yeah. I'm like, she'll never see the light of day again. <laughs> we probably won't either, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's not fair. Might I'll never get to look deeply not. into her eyes. I mean, you could look it's a little deeper now. <laughs> it's okay. It's I was going to take out Victory Pullman to the City Hawkins stance yeah. anyway. So, how's Doesn't Roxy matter. doing while we're doing this? Just like standing back in horror. <laughs> stab, 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 stab. <laughs> yeah, she's just basically standing there, watching all of this happen. Oh, good. Okay, no, wait, not yet. Just a couple minutes. Okay, so uh, I'm going to say this pop the weasel, this Sorry. pop the weasel maneuver goes really well. So uh, you have, uh, they are not dead, um, or undead as it were, because you're not doing enough to, like, you know, mm -hmm. cut off that. Uh, but you have subdued them enough that you get them in the room, the door gets shut and locked. All right. And beeline to the main cafeteria. Cafeteria now? All right. Goody, goody gumdrop. So I would like to give you some information and set the scene as oh. we approach the end of this first episode called The Slam. cafeteria doesn't so, exist. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> but here's a couple pieces of are on either side of that hallway, which basically means it has a little bit of light from the emergency lighting, but it is very dark, which is probably... What, what emergency lighting is left, yeah. Yeah, so here's something that... Oh, no, actually, I'm going to make you all roll to see who sees this. Um, not you, Wyatt. Don't worry about it. Uh, Great. But I need everyone to roll me a grit roll, if you please. Except um, for Wyatt. You don't have real to quick, roll. before we do that, um, I think... I think I got disconnected. Um, give me a second. 
Oh, from the start. genetics. Yeah, I got. Yep. Um, actually, no, I think it's. I think it came back up on its own. Oh. Um, let me just Hello, make everyone. sure. Why is this being weird when I try to click on the thing? Can I okay. Spend um, an for the to okay. Roll yeah. Roll apparently, it's up. Um. So okay. go ahead. Sorry. What kind of rolls do you yes. need? I need a grit roll from everyone. Uh, uh, you can only spend adversity tokens after you've rolled. It's as my far D20, as I understand. So why not? Can I spend an adversity Seriously? to re-roll the grit or succeed or whatever? Uh, oh, you you add adversity, so it's not for re-roll. Oh, it's basically just add. Yeah. You can like add you, as many points. If you miss a roll you by want. three, you can add like three points to make it a success yeah. kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah, no, so, this is not going to go yeah. very well. So you all, you're also still broken up over Tammy. Yeah, that's right. There's like tears. Yeah. So I'm not paying attention. It's true. Uh, in a moment, <laughs> you'll be very aware, but um, at the current point in time, you're not. Um, so Wyatt, <laughs> would you like to know? Would you like to know why you didn't have to roll grit, Wyatt? Um, because I don't have a general caring about life, or. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that too, but also actually that means your grid is fairly high. Actually, um, you don't. It's not because, necessary. Yeah, because the silver tentacle that has been snaking down the hallway, trying to get to the silver lock silver box, silver tentacle wraps around your leg, and you feel the cold of metal as it wraps around and like squeezes at your ankle, and then you fall backwards and you slide into darkness as everyone I'm just gonna shout this is bullshit watch as, as you slide into the, into the shadows down the main cafeteria down the main newsway <sighs> to the cafeteria Gavin, and that's, where we're bullshit. Episode, that's where we're gonna end episode one with Gavin Wyatt reaches his it. hands up and covers Reggie's eyes don't look don't look that's that that is why it's catchphrase now this is bullshit <laughs> Uh, <laughs> cool. I hate this school. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that uh. was episode one. Congratulations on, um, well, not dying thus far. All right. No one's been. Move. So congratulations, everyone. Not technically um, dying. Not technically dying. Uh, I, I will say, um, everyone but Matthew did see a silver snake like tentacle thing itself around Wyatt's ankle and then drag them into the darkness. Mm -hmm. So, no pressure, but that seems important, somehow. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Uh, there's um... food in the cafeteria. <laughs> Hopefully. There's something in Do the I... cafeteria. Does, does Wyatt get a creativity token for having the rest of the people kind of follow his lead a little bit here and there? Sure. Awesome. It won't say I have no idea how to use those, but now uh, that I have one, I got to figure it out. Basically, my version of adversity tokens plus, and so you spend them like you would adversity tokens, okay. but you can. Um... Awesome. Yeah, I'm so, just going to mark another adversity in there. Yes. So this was the end of episode one called Slam. I haven't decided the title for episode two, but we'll pick up with you oh. having just watched Wyatt being slithered into the darkness by a silver tentacle that apparently exists at this school now along with everything else and also silver metal tentacle and yeah, yet there we're are... still using 10 year old textbooks it's true actually they're 12 years old it's worse than that they're not even 10 oh, they're 12 years old. well yeah we're using 10 year old textbooks as bracers right now that, also true yes <laughs> and proust um Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I hope you had a ghoulish good time. In the next episode, the players get to the cafeteria, and um, Gavin, you know what's above the cafeteria? On the second floor? No. The, above... advanced, the advanced athletics training center where Mr. Brink probably is with your jock friends. So you have that to think about until next week. It's where my pads are. That's the important part. It's true. We'll see if you get to your pads or if you continue to scrape your hands on nails and metal shutters. And we Look, have I need those giant puffy gloves that. and I need uh, hockey's, a proper hockey stick. He needs his pads for life. 
Just, <laughs> just living counts. general life. Right. Well, every, uh, thank everyone for tuning in. We'll see you next Friday night for this limited run series called Summer School, where everything's fine, but everything is also still bullshit. Good night, Remember, everyone. Folks, stay in school. Well, yeah. Not this school. yeah, not this school. Different school. Yeah. This school is bullshit. Stay at the other school.